Hello, everybody. Now ready to get started. Welcome, Remote Battery. Last weekend for Ubers. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really care about Ubers. Let's have a real talk before we get into the game. I'm gonna go like the only one I even slightly care about is Psycho Wan. And even then, it's like a. I, I have Magical Peace, so for the most part, I'm good. It would be really nice to have it as like a comfort pick versus like Episode 4 boss or some Episode 4 clears including getting to said boss, but I don't really care about the other Ubers. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see, like, a lot of realistic use cases for most of them. Like, I don't really want milled Gilia or whatever, regardless if it's a percentage. I, it would have to roll, like, the most insane thing ever to even be remotely worth it. Um, SJS could be arguably the only one that I see kind of interesting, but... Yeah, I don't- I don't plan on using Heaven Punisher, either. I'm like, I already have Heaven Striker. I'm good. Will we see if a clear is before the event ends? It feels like the answer is no. It's actually insane how we've not seen it yet. We need to start having a dwarf on the clear- or a dwarf on counter. Actually wild that it isn't there, but welcome, Marco. Yeah, we legit have seen, like, a rare enemy of every single type at this point, except for Dwarf on a clear. It's actually getting kind of sad. <laughs> Just genuinely kind of sad. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. What quest do I feel like doing is the question. You know what, chat? You know what? I think I think I got something. We're we're gonna do a dumb quest. Is chat ready for a dumb quest? I'm gonna boot up PSO. We're doing well, Murphy. Let's see. I'll play green ID. The question is which green ID do I bring? Hmm, let me check beat. Move this so I can see chat a little better. Also, I need to make a note to self to, uh... Oh, that's awkward. My... Oh, that's right, my computer reboot. You know what the dumb part is, chat? Remember how I was complaining about the Windows update? It's still complaining to me about the Windows update. I'm like, listen, I literally shut down my computer before starting the stream, and it's still like, do you want to do another update? I'm like, what? What? Why did you ask and not update? Windows, please. Like, what are you, dumb? <laughs> like, you, you, had, you had like hours. I don't understand. Why didn't you do it when I booted up? Actual madness. Yeah, I leave my computer on a little longer than I should, to be honest. But even then, like, I still turn it off during the week at several points. Odd beat. Hmm. I guess that's still fine. Just thinking if I should play Force instead. If somebody else is bringing Force, then I'm not gonna switch out. I think I got enough to bully some enemies. So we're gonna do some Episode 4. We're we're gonna do some quests, basically, until we see Dorf on a Clara chat. It is now our mission to see this stupid drop. <laughs> like, I just want to see it, chat. I don't feel like I'm asking for that much. Just... <laughs> One day, chat. We're gonna play a quest I almost never play. Just to see it, chat. I swear, if it doesn't show up in this quest, I'm gonna roll my eyes. We, we call this the desperation quest, because I, again, never normally run it. So we're gonna wait for some people to trickle in. I got room for mags and stuff like that. I'll put my Nidra back on. Um, I'll give him a, v a V502, since we are gonna be fighting a lot of Dorfons. Although honestly, if the, if the cast has it, then I'm not gonna bother. Oh, oops. Windows button, get out of here.
Hmm. It's a lot of items. I really don't need this many. Hmm. Damn, that 25% native Excalibur, though. Alright, for this specific thing, I don't need... need everything here. This kind of sucks. I mean, arguably Slicer would be the thing I would remove. Gonna double check this quest real quick before we begin. Is anybody else looking to hop in and do some episode 4? Hoping somebody will say yes, or else we might just switch up the quest. There we go. Thank you, Ramon. I'm looking at the items. Yeah, there's no underground hunts at all in this quest, which I find kind of funny. This is just a pure spite run for Dorfana Claire. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll go to we'll go to more meaningful hunts after this. That's an okay amount of zoos, so technically it could be via 101. We're gonna do Lost Berserk Baton, which leads us to the boss. So we'll give chat like another minute or so to join, and then we'll get started. I almost never do this quest because it's very long. There are, like, 30 Dorfons, I think, in this quest. So we're just going for volume. Ooh, Force makes it easy. The last call. It'll take us to Shamberton in case people want to get, uh... What's it called? Uh, Dragon Scale. It's unlikely, but we could see Conjuru. It will also be very sad if we see Conjuru before we see Dorfon Eclair again. I feel like there's so many chances. <laughs> you have to think of it this way. Even if it's, like... Let's say the odd is, like, 1 in 300, right? of seeing the rare enemy. We still have 30 of them, so it should be almost standard Conjury odds for the most part of seeing one. But we'll see. I'll give chat just a few more seconds and we'll get started. Yeah, I, I came to do some big damage. I'm assuming nobody's coming. Let's do this quest. It is indeed Lost Berserk Baton. That's how you know I'm annoyed. <laughs> I never run this quest. I, I run it like once a year total and like that's it. You almost never see me pick this quest because it is very long. But we're on the hunt for Dorfon. We could do resets for Dorfon. We might do that. We'll see. Exactly what I wanted to do. I'm gonna play like ultra support. That's not gonna be a question of if I can land the shot. It'll be will my shot actually activate? Also, game please. Oh, that's some big damage with the X Cal. Uh, this should be fun. Oh, the... I shot the fleeing Rappy and it ate the bullet. What was that? <laughs> that that wasn't me missing. It just ate into its graphic. Damn, that Rappy impossible. I didn't realize that was the thing. If you shot them from behind, you could just not hit them. Because it's like, let's be honest, the Rommar is not missing his shot. That was just PSO shenanigans. And it definitely locked on because it corrected my position. Actual tomfoolery. Feeling when you whiff the uh, oh I love the this spawn I like I want to see this in more quests. You step on the hit me button. I want to see this chat. When people are asking about things I like in episode four, aside from creative patterns with the enemies, designated hit me buttons. Am I just being the, like one of the most unlucky people ever? I guess I am. Okay, because <laughs> I'm like geez I'm missing every special. This I have V502 on right. I'm not hallucinating. Okay I do. So sad. Is 
gonna say that feeling when you just want to annihilate them. Um, I think it's worth popping the boxes here. There, there's enough here that I don't usually do a ton of box checks, but I mean, just look how many there are. We should pop at least a few of them. You never know. Generally speaking, I forget what. I know it's gonna alternate between Crimson Coat and Thirteen. I forget offhand which ones have Thirteen. Goodbye, bot. Rip bot. But either way, every single one of those boxes being a Photon Crystal means I'm probably going to check it. Yeah, no Rust Needle for me, sadly. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the great surge of bots, apparently. So, yeah. I would definitely consider an Arrest Needle as like my third or fourth item. Also, the damage of the sword on the lizards is very silly. Like the state. <sighs> I thought it was gonna hit him before he jumped. I knew he was going to try jumping at me, but fortunate. Miscalculation on my part. I'm not gonna blame the game on that one. It's just being out of practice with Astark. Because when you see him walking towards you, if you walk a little bit towards him and then attack, he won't jump. More hit me buttons. Well, they're kind of far apart. Good enough. Actually unlucky. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say actually just unlucky there. Rip. Anyway, hit me button's done. Yeah, I like that it can kind of make like... You could kind of just get in the right position for waves. I like that you could kind of group up with people for them. Rip my buffs. Oh, I actually whipped a special. A rare. Oh, no debuffs. A little rough. Do this. There we go. Nice and simple. Slowly remembering a little bit about this quest. Hello, warp. Let's take the warp. Awesome boxes. Not gonna say no. A lot of boxes. Out a little too quickly there. That was my fault. I like that he does so much damage with Slicer Fanatic, you could actually just blow them with combos with it. These cactuses are a choice from the quest designer, for sure. Not my favorite, for sure.
Uh, if it's just single door, fine. I'm sticking to Slicer. Uh, I remember being bullied at a couple of bridges. This might be the quest I get bullied on. Is this the dwarf on each side bridge? No. That's fine then, we'll move forward. Oh no, I'm getting like war limits, uh, one flashbacks. What a quest. Rip Rappius. I'm through playing around. Oh, he crit me. Unlucky. Crit is real. This guy would stop hitting me. Satellite lizards, please. Material. You should just charge into the rock like a big dummy, if I remember correctly. Wow, the whips! The whips! Painful whips. Demons, please. I don't even need to SNS special, I just need it to actually land. <laughs> so sad. One day chat. Pick up that skip doll for later. Ah, uh, this might be the bridge I was thinking about earlier. Interesting he got stuck on the bridge like that. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, I feel like once we kill this, it's just gonna be... We're gonna get Dwarfon sandwiched. I'm gonna keep my health up. I don't trust this bridge. Peace at least. Uh, sort of. Yeah, if there's two like that, I'm just gonna slice her. The team could just focus on DPS, so I'll, I'll slice her then. I've given up with paralysis. It's not working consistently enough on a non-cast. 
I'll need an arrest needle at some point. There's a healing circle to the left if you need it. So we're coming up to the, the, the kill room. So if you do need traps, you should probably go back at some point. Or just escape doll. Otherwise, time to get on the hit me circle. Nice. I just sink there with Rafoe. That almost killed me. That was scary. Zoo got me. I thought the Rafoe hit the zoo. That's unfortunate. It should have been in range. No nonsense. I actually, Excalibur the zoo out of the air. Very rare I get to do that. Here they come. I got double hit. That sucks. I'm gonna shift to myself so I can actually do some damage. The annoyances. Okay, two down. Okay. To no one's surprise, no door found a clear. Take your head, John. On the plus side, I have Mag Blast for the boss. Although, arguably, I could just use it preemptively. If the team has it, I would rather we use it, to be honest, before we go too much further. Bonk. Lost remote. Wait, where is remote? <laughs> it's still gone. Rip remote. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, what are you at, remote? Okay. I'm gonna use twins. There we go. This should help with the clear of the quest. This is also a quest that kind of benefits from PB crate to some extent. We definitely got hit a lot more than usual due to Dwarfons, but it is naturally just a long quest. So any quest that starts going into the 10-11 minute region starts to benefit more heavily from PB Creates. Yeah, this should speed it up very significantly. To the point, I think Charge Arm will delete most of them. Yeah, pretty much. It's doing as much as Heaven Striker was doing earlier. Not at max accuracy with this setup. That's so sad. Straight laser, seriously. I'm like, I'm busy fighting the Astark. Like, I'm not gonna be able to spread needle him. 
There we go. Now that was that was a room clear. <laughs> two two birds. I'm like, listen, I got my shotgun. That's good enough. Listen. Oh, Marco still cannot survive the boss with his HP, so this will be interesting. Let's still leave Marco in the uh, main room. Big damage. Full Zeus, that's annoying. Leave our forced friend alone. What weird spawns of like only three people? Oh, I don't know what the spawn philosophy was for this quest. Oh boy. Uh, get ready for a lot of door funds, by the way. Just assume that almost every wave is door funds at this point. It's probably safe to assume. Yeah, I did some damage to them. Almost got the kill. Mercifully, Dorf on this way. Yeah, we haven't come to like the big amounts of Dorfons yet. We've seen like 10 or so already. Is this the room with the Dorfon sandwich? It might be. I vaguely recall those ominous rocks. It's used only in a couple of quests. I'm expecting evilness when we go to walk through there. Really? The, the trap just ate my sacrifice shot? Him, please. At least detonate the trap. What a troll. I see nothing good coming from this. I would 1000% expect Dorfons as we go through those laser gates. Prior to laser gate, we'll see. Oh, I got hit. You get a V101? Nice. Yeah, the, the BS is coming, just to warn you. Congrats on the V101. See, Marco was looking for those earlier. We're just giving them extra. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to be like Quadra Dwarfon or something stupid. I just know there's like one point in this quest. Yeah, there we go. Damn, that satellite lizard actually juking me in real time. Feels terrible. All right, chat. Wish I'm going in. Wish me luck. Give me a salute. Give me a salute. I'm going in. <laughs> Where's the sandwich? Where is it? Can I bait it? Oh, yeah. There's the sandwich. And it's a zoo in the middle. That's just rude. Okay, I stunned one of them. I'm going to kill the zoo because it's annoying me. Hey, team, team's got it on lock. Stupid dwarf on sandwich. I, 
don't really like the remix of the song. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm listening to it. I actually really like this song. Not this version. I don't know what the th the word I'm trying to use is. Is it too much like... Dissonance isn't the right word, but there's like a lot of extra sounds in the song that just make it sound kind of muddy. It just doesn't sound as crisp as like the orchestral version. I understand they're going for like organs and whatever, but it just... It, it feels like they're trying to dance on the drum rather than play a beat, if that makes sense. So it just feels kind of all over the place. I don't like this version of the song at all. And this, like, this part right here is supposed to be, like, the power part, and it's, like... It's kind of medium. Oh, the zoo laser, come on. Gotta be kidding me. I almost killed that ass Stark until that happened. Legit was one special away from dying. So sad. I do want to try popping boxes. Oh, is there the, the switch over here? Well, there is a switch over here. Hmm. I'm gonna go... What happens if I touch the switch? Hmm. I don't remember what the purpose of that switch is. I'm assuming there's another one we have to step on for something bonus. That was a very weirdly timed Dwarfon. I'm gonna say I don't really understand it. I'll accept it though. That's an easy kill. Listen, if one see it by itself. Also not liking this version of the song either. And this is one of my favorite boss themes in Mystery. And I like the original version that it comes from. Yeah, I feel on the soundtrack, sadly. That's a little better. Ooh. No, I don't like that transition at all. I'm gonna give that an F. This is the worst version by far. What are these extra beats? Ew. <laughs> Ew, chat. I'm gonna have to- I'm not gonna lie, this might be my least favorite Uso soundtrack. I don't even think it's close. I'm not feeling it. Oh, I'm committing. I'm not dodging that door fun. I'm gonna Heaven Striker my brains out if I have to. And it felt like the guitar just got lost in there instead of popping out. I, I'm so confused with the direction of this song. Like this is supposed to, like the guitar is supposed to be the main part and it's like, it's almost like it got downgraded from boss music to just battle music or something. It just lost its like grandiose nature. It's just very boring synth. Do not like. Oh, I'm, I could have been dead there. Probably do a safety heal. Oh, I'm gonna love when the Dwarfon comes on the right side of the screen and it's not able to cross the gap. Do it for me. Oh, I got pulled a little to the left. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, sniped. Rip. I only 30 seconds of super buff, so it's not like I'm missing out on that much, to be honest. Oh, I was looking where the silver badge dropped. I'm like, oh, right. Ooh. It's like the beat is so heavy. And the guitar is so light. Part of it's because it sounds electronic. I'm not feeling it. 
You know, I'm actually gonna skip this song. I just feel disappointed. I think you could do better. Give me one second as I switch the song. It's supposed to be like the, the hoist the sword and I'm just bored of it. I'm moving it forward. <laughs> it's not a good version of that song, I'm sorry. And it was like nine minutes, by the way, so that song was gonna go on for an eternity. Yeah, like, I like Hoist the Sword. It's one of my favorite songs in Etrian, and I forget if it's in 3, but I like the 3 version. We were just listening to it the other day. It was either 3 or 4 it came from. Don't you snipe at me. I know it's not 1 or 2 for a fact. Yeah, that was just disappointing. Welcome, Halvation. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that was the Nexus version. That was very disappointing. I did not like it. Oh, no! Chat got hit! No! <laughs> I just saw Miss Miss Miss, and I'm like, no, I'm dead. I just needed a thousand damage. That was so sad. Rip. No thousand damage for me. I'm gonna pop some boxes. Yeah, so far I'm not really a fan of the Nexus songs. There's like the, the one we the one we started the stream with I think was fine, but I'm like I'm not in love with them either. I don't know, and it's weird because I I've heard mostly electronic soundtracks from this person before, but I'm just really not feeling the soundtrack in general. Get rid of the zoo here. Striker shots are real. I think I've heard this one before. I think about what the song name is called, though. Basically a mag blast again. I'll save it for the boss since we're pretty close to the boss room. Getting lasered there is very rude. That was a, was that a new song or did they just loop the song like that? That was really awkward. Like, what? Hold on, hold on. We're listening to the last part again. What happened? Yeah, it just cuts awkwardly. Okay, who cut this track? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That wasn't YouTube pickuping. They just cut the song wrong. It was from the Cherry Odyssey three. I forget what the song is called though. No boxes over here. Hmm. There was the warp to our left. I know the boss warp is to the left. I thought we were going to do another rotation. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like the boss gate is open. Oh wait, money gate. Never mind. I already got that money. Oh, the switch over here. <laughs> Disregard. I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can. If I could kill a zoo here, this would be huge. 
I killed one of the zoos. I almost killed the Dorfon. Really, really unlucky with the paralysis. There we go, finally. Holy. That should go a little smoother. There we go, now the boss warp is active. Uh, I guess Heaven Striker time. Which almost even beat a time. For people that want to join in with episode 4 even beat, UP Laser is active by the time we beat this quest. I'm hoping for Conjuru. If we don't get it, it doesn't really matter. Another dragon skill, who cares? Or whatever. This quest will be worth um it will be worth exactly 150, maybe a little under. I'm not messing around with Shamperdin. Get out of here. Listen, chat. We we hit the I had enough portion of the boss fight. No, thank you. All right, so Marco's gonna have to stay in the main room because he just physically can't survive laser. So there's no point to tagging. It's gonna burn us out of moons. I'll go with remote. I'll see how evenly I can hit it. I'm gonna go for the mag blast. So if the team wants to join in, I'm going to be using Dolphin. So just don't use Dolphin. I feel like, is it going to try to punish me? That's fine, that's fine. I'll take the hit. Just as long as it wasn't reeling back for laser, that should be a free hit. Ooh, why did you do so little? Oh, maybe because of Synchro. Right, so we're gonna heal through this, I think. Game, please. I didn't really turn to shoot this. Really? Wow. Getting actually robbed out here. Almost fast enough. Look how consistent the damage is. Like, people were complaining about potential crits here. Uh oh. People were complaining about crits, but Cannon Rouge seems to hit everything evenly. Like, either that, that is the most lucky series of hits you've ever seen, where every crit is applied evenly to the parts. So, I, I don't think there's any inconsistency with it, unless you just straight up don't hit it from the center. Then, of course, bad things will happen. See, I'm feeling convinced. I feel like I've heard this before. I wonder if I heard the soundtrack before. Oh, just a little shy of 500,000. That's what I was debating on the XP total at the end. I was close. So sadly, no door fun to clear. But it is pew pew laser time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my pew pew laser mag. Let's do some episode four, but now with 100% more pew pew or more. Hmm. Now I'm ironically back up to full accuracy with B502. 
Yeah, that extra 3% will help a little, but honestly, I wasn't really missing the third shot from a percentage standpoint. I'm just missing due to a failed activation rate. Let's do full clear so we can get Heaven Striker and maybe Galatine. We're doing standard episode 4. So you could you could write down 30 Dorfons seen today so far. Zero Dorfon declares. What will happen first, chat? Will we hit 100 Dorfons before we see rare Dorfon? What do you think? The odds should be in our favor in a four-player group. I'm just saying, statistically, it's very likely. If you basically half the odds, so it's like a 250 or 1 in 300 with four people times 100. In theory, one, one of us should see it, potentially. <laughs> Kinds of things, but we'll see. It's gonna be so silly. Yeah, at this point, I'm not even super worried about the drop rate of it. It's more the spawn rate, I guess. Although, it would be funny if we do find it and none of us get the drop, despite being four players. Is anybody hopping in for some episode four? We have a free slot. We'll be doing a normal boss, but let me know. I'm gonna give chat about a minute because sometimes they don't say stuff in the chat, but then they join. So we'll see. I'm gonna be sticking to Pew Pew for a little bit. I guess I can restock while I'm waiting. Also, it'd be very sad if I got Galatine again before I saw Dorfana Clear. Yeah, we, we could do blue Phonumen runs at some point in case somebody needs leveling. While doing the Ignition Cloak Hunts. Nothing of interest in the shop. Yeah, by the time I walk to this counter, we're moving forward. I'm a little sad we're only at three people, but I guess it is what it is. Nobody has declared in Twitch chat that they are looking to join, so we'll move forward. Uh, do this quest. I was gonna say remote if you have a green id character you want to bring into it next run you can swap in i could potentially play force if you want to be free to force duties i just don't have a green id i want to play in the quest that's the only condition I guess in theory I could technically play yellow if I wanted a uh, Daylight Scar. I guess it depends on what the group needs are. I would like to see a Heaven Striker at some point. I figure we get a couple greens in, and if we want to do yellow later, that's also fine. Chase the Dwarf on a Clear Dream, or Girasol. It would actually be nice if I ended up with a static Girasol. Most of mine are pretty zeroed, because I got them as quest rewards. Thank you, Ultimir. Hope you're doing well. Did I seriously pick up a trap vision? Get out of here. It's like, I'm like, what the?
think your force is okay. We'll get you all geared up. What staff are you using? Is it the second one? Huh. I didn't. S Your health isn't really moving on my screen. Doesn't it make it cost HP? That's why I didn't think you were using it at first. Because I thought it converted half costs into uh, it. Unless there's some setup with adifs that makes it literally not drain HP. So on my screen, you've been at full health forever. Random Gamer 2 says, I didn't know if any had new enemies and areas. Um, it is the standard blue burst stuff. The so blue burst has episode 4. It'll be different from the GameCube. Well, welcome, your random gamer. Oh, it's a glitch on the HP bar. Okay. Because that's why I second guess myself, because I'm like, I know it's supposed to drain HP. No worries. Let's do... get rid of these. Would not surprise me there's a bug related to the HP reader. I didn't think power shots are the way to go here. I wanted. It's fine though. So if there's people that are looking for a little bit of a level boost or something, let me know. If you're in very hard, I will humor you potentially today with some very hard runs. I'm not willing to humor a 1 to 80. That, that's too much time. But we do have Ignition Cloak as one of our, we'll call it stretch goals for the event. We have not received an Ignition Cloak or had it drop for the group yet. So you would do that by playing episode 4 very hard mode. Since we have a free slot anyway, you might as well just go for hunts that matter. The quotes on drops kind of nice. Just be careful with the door fawn after this wave. Ooh, that fireball might be too early. A little too early. Unfortunate. Uh, not much I could do about that. Yeah, that's the downside with the force. You have you have to delay as much as you can to make sure that they hit you. Oh, I wanted to do SNS glitch there for the first time. There we go. Landed it there. Oh, team didn't kill the Dorfon. The sacrifice was for nothing. Okay, SNS glitched him. I think I could bully him out. There we go. I pick up a photon drop, huh? It's a long escape doll. You're not meant for me. Cat says I got to 80 with Fomoral. Yeah, I mean, you're even welcome to hop in this run. If you want to catch in, I don't think anybody else has asked, so you are more than welcome to take the four slot. And if you have uh, level 30 checks, that would help. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Actually, with this allure, it's better to shoot him normally. That'll free up remote battery, potentially. 
Let's see remote battery at true potential. Max charge. Yeah, we mostly are just looking for people to spam a lot of Kofoe. And in some scenarios, we need to chill on it just because we want the door funds to charge. Other than that, like, if you honestly only had Kofoe, you'd probably be totally fine in the quest. Also, is that, like, my third luck material from one quest? It is. That's very, very unusual. But is that, like, a 1% chance drop or 2%? On top of it, it has to roll material. All the PDs today, apparently. Yeah, like, I like this song a lot more than the Hoist the Sword. Just got a Gaflowy amplifier. Why is that text so popular? Okay, so we can break it down. Uh, I need to concentrate for just one moment as we move to the side here. So the reason why Gafoe is popular is because, one, a lot of enemies are weak to it, but two, there are a lot of waves in this game that spawn in without any invulnerability. So if there's multiple Gafoe's lingering, then what'll happen is that they'll get hit by all the Gafoe's. So let's talk about things like Rappies, Satellite Lizards, um, those kinds of creatures will just instantly take hundreds and hundreds of damage. So if you are capable of doing, let's say, 400 damage a fireball, and you have four fireballs out in the room, that's 1600 damage by yourself of you just nuking said bird out of existence. So it just ends up being a really, really strong and really, really fast clear for rooms where you don't have to do a lot of movement. It also stuns enemies like Marissa's, which are normally a really big pain for things like Pew Pew Laser in this run. Uh, where they happen to also be weak, and they also happen to take a lot of stack damage. So even if it doesn't one-shot, you end up getting usually one to two extra Gafoe's. And then on top of that, if we're fighting things like Gorons, if you start the fireball not immediately where they are, like these enemies here, if you're at a fireball where I'm standing, they have to walk into you to do something. So in doing so, they just tend they take all your fireball damage anyway. It also stops Zeus from die bombing, depending on where you do it. It's not the preferred tech for it, but if it's already out, it just punishes them. So this is an example where if you were using Gafoe here, you just saw that it was Gorons, weak to fire, now it's Satellite Lizards. So if you see that it's Zeus or something else like that, then it's just another wave. More Yaois, those enemies would have also spawned it and taken your fireball damage. So a lot of the endgame force knowledge is just knowing when you could get away with just not moving and just planning in. And I highly recommend you open the technique menu like this and spam Gafoe that way to get frame perfect Gafoe's, because that makes a really big difference. It's a difference potentially between uh, you having somewhere between three and four fireballs out at once and five, and being able to do potentially 2,000 damage by yourself is bonkers. Like, you will kill most things. Like, see, these things have 3,700, so if two forces are perfectly stacking Gafoe's, these enemies spawn dead. Like, they literally exist for a frame and die on this on the next frame. So it saves a lot of time when you have multiple forces, but it also saves time with stacks in general. Yeah, it has a lot of other issues, but in specifically to episode 4, it's like one of the god techniques. Like all the rappies here, they're weak to fire. The zoos, they take okay damage from it. I wonder if this broken all the way down. Yeah, there's a reason why people value Gafoe over all the fire techniques. And see, like, you could have been fireballing these rappies, and then your fireballs would have hit these satellite lizards. So the way you have to think about episode 4 as a force is not what spell do I need to clear the current room when you're playing multiplayer, but what spell can I use the longest that will clear all the future waves. So for example, if you have been stacking Gafoe into the other wave, into this wave, then the Marissas would have walked into your wall of fireballs and would have been basically free for the team at that point. Also, I should probably just have striker a bit more. So I'll try to teach this quest because some people don't they might have missed the explanations when we do it. No worries, minus X. So, when in doubt, go fully it out. That's my episode 4 tip to you. It will work in like 90% of scenarios. 
in particular the more popular runs. So they went ahead and walked into this room. They did a slight deviation to the left and then went straight in order to catch the zoos. However, we know that there's going to be Goron detonators in the bottom left as well as the top right. So if we have trap users, we could potentially freeze them in that time. We know after this there's going to be Marissa. So you as a force might be tempted to spam a lot of lightning here. I actually recommend you don't do anything at all and spam Gufoe. Because when this Marissa wave pops up, this is going to be the problem for most people. We don't care about Goron detonators at high level play. These are the things that need to go away quickly. So then on my left here, near the, the red door, there's going to be a wall of enemies. So if there's a trap user, typically a trap user will camp along there to make sure that they can hit the Goron detonator there. So like there's little things you could do from like a cast perspective. This wave, arguably you could ice a little bit, but usually by the time it's down to just Goron detonator, it's probably just always better to uh, give away. You might notice too that there's a lot of enemies here we can kill easily as hunters and rangers, but both satellite lizards are now going to waste time because there's no Gafoe stacking. Like honestly, just always Gafoe stack. It's always the right answer in like almost every wave. It's actually insane. So like I'm not even going to bother fighting the Gorons at all because they're probably just going to get gafoe or gafoe out. And I'm going to kill the zoo. That's, that's the courtesy to the force. So they're just gonna keep spamming Gafoe. Eventually it'll be like Zeus and and Gerdabulu or whatever. But see, like this is now a free wave. See how they just lost like a thousand health? It just gets better and better. So if you have things like fires um the fire staff or you have like your Gafoe merge, it's super super good in order to uh, go all the way there. I can't pick up the badge, so that's awkward. And this is another wave that takes fire damage. So see what I mean? Like and then eventually it's going to be the silly little uh, Gerdabulu, and then that's going to get stunlocked by fire damage, and it's going to stop the zoos. So at this point, I would probably switch off a Gafoe in this room. I would consider potentially Razan, depending on the lockdown of the birds, or something like Grants just to chip at the Gerdabulu. Gerdabulu is also not bad if the zoos are close to it, because it will still do the job of stunlocking. But yeah. You're, you're gonna hear me say Gafoe a lot. It really is used in like every single wave. I, I want to stress at how good it is <laughs> by, by mentioning it like every wave. Also, I don't need these dive mates. I'm just gonna drop them. They actually get in my way of menuing. I'd rather just have try mates. Oh, oh yeah, no fire staff. That's unfortunate. So in this room, for example, there's gonna be Yowies. So it's correct for the Gafoe stacking to happen here. But a thing that could happen is you could Rafoe this room because after this, if you know about the wave, it's going to be three Goron detonators at the far top of the room. So I'm going to do my best to try to Frozen Shooter them as they get rafoe And then I know after this is going to be another wave that's also not fire friendly. So this is probably the first time where we don't really Gafoe stack. But starting after this wave, the Gafoe stack will occur. I believe it'll be... Four Pyro Gorons and a Goron Detonator in the middle. So that's more intended for maybe just for Barda spam. Oh, Zeus. I'm sorry. Zeus first. Excuse me. But again, like a Foe doesn't really matter here. It's not in a, a wave we would benefit heavily from. So I'd rather have the lockdown in the middle for when it's the Goron Detonator. But like, I'm going to freeze the threat and now I'm going to kill the threat. Now the Gafoe spam may commence. It may now you should be good. <laughs> like. So that, that's probably like one of the only waves where you have to like kind of, you have to turn your brain back on after it goes into Gafoe Mush. Goodbye enemies. And speaking of which, see how, yeah, that Mercer just took, uh, was it 3700 went down to 1800, so it took 1900 damage from the Gafoe stack. So unfortunately we'll have to give a uh, remote some uh, fire staff for Gafoe merge. It does really speed up the clear. It's kind of insane. So here, even though nothing is immediately leaked to it, the enemies are still going to walk into the Gafoe here. So we're just going to clean it up. We're almost at the end of the waves. Yeah, here, here it's probably Razan spam. I think it would be the right call. By Gerdabulu. Alright, so the upcoming room, we usually let the cast walk in first. So I just recommend just don't go first in this room. So what'll happen is the cast will run in, 
They'll put a Confuse Trap down or Freeze, preferably Confuse, and they're going to deal with the wave. Now at the far end of the room will be a series of uh, Goron Detonators after this initial wave dies. We can take a little bit of a look at here. The Confuse Trap will pop, they'll fight each other, and now we have basically free room clear. So as long as we don't get close, they don't look at us. And we'll be facing the right way, so the cast will be very close to where the Triple Gordon Detonator is. And then after that, the Bowie stacking can happen. But we should help try to lock down the Gordon Detonators here. I'm going to try to Frozen Shooter in case it misses. I targeted the wrong one, but that's fine. So let's ship him out a little. Then after this, Gufoe's fam. <laughs> so basically, we know the big threats are going to be uh, Double Goron Detonator will spawn about where the Force is. So we're going to play Operation Protect the Force. The Force will continue to Gufoe spam because there's going to be really awful waves like Quadruple Marissa, Single Zoo. And all of those are just like, if we're not Gufoe spamming, bad things will happen. We're going to let it play out. So we'll, we'll slow them down a little here with some lasers. Freeze Trap should hit them. And then they'll take care of the Rappies for us. So, like, I as a Ranger will not target Rappies. I'm going to target the, the mini-boss kind of enemies. Since I know that these things will just die pretty much instantly to fire. Speaking of dies instantly to fire, these enemies take a little while to hop into position. As long as we're not too close, they should just get chipped out. Yeah, here's an example. I should probably target the Zoo. Now, I think it might be Pyro Goron after this into... Yeah. So this wave we can ice a little bit, so if you want to Rebarta spam it's fine. The next wave I think is six Pyros. As long as you're in the middle of the room, if you cast a couple Gafoes it should slow them down. I'm going to face towards one of the corners to hit the zoo. And again, it's just because I run this quest a lot. Like I don't expect most players to know this, but I'm just given like a play-by-play. -play. So I know the zoo is the only thing that's really annoying. So if the cast just puts a freeze trap down like exactly where they just did, it stops all the Gorons, and then I can just turn around. So now the zoo's dead. And then after that, it should be Goron Detonator in the middle with four satellite lizards and a diamond or whatever. Oh, excuse me. Te technically, technically square two. And then we know the final wave is uh, Gertabulu, so you can just rip away if you want. Poor Gertabulu, you're about to get jacked. Hi, uh, goodbye. Alright, so we're gonna do a health check. Marco still cannot survive laser, so Marco will probably still stay behind regardless of character class. I'm gonna equip the... Heaven Striker. I'll probably try to Dolphin the other thing, but my Synchro is kind of booty. See how it goes. Oh, we got Conjure you. Denied the Galatine, but that's fine. So if for whatever reason you're able to move in the cutscene, just, yeah, I was gonna say, just go on healing duty. If you protect me, I should get a clean lineup of the spinner. So I'm gonna pause trick to not target this. Oh, I got a red spinner. Well, this should be clean. As long as I don't get hit too badly here, it should be free. Oh, teleported. No, it's targeting randomly. Thank you. Oh, hail Pew Pew Laser. On the plus side, Cycle Wand is good at all phases of this fight. It's good at dealing with Spinner, it's good at dealing with Cores. You don't have to worry about having the wrong wand equipped to Rebarta. So I know the cores here are always weak to Rebarta. The exact weakness of the spinner and the initial core is different for each boss. That's at least consistent. Um, I guess I'll still pew pew laser. I'm gonna go for dolphin, but I'm gonna try to beat my mag first as I run up. Try to make it do a little more damage. I'll take the damage here, that's fine. I'll take any damage over no damage. Ooh, almost died to spinner. And Pew Pew is so strong. Well, that was a little greedy. That was a little greedy. My bad. That was greedy. 
I'll correct it here. As long as it doesn't reel back right now, I'll correct it. There we go. Alright, we cleaned it up. So even though we got a little desynced in damage, we got a couple extra shots. We recognize as long as it's within about 600 of each, of each core, we could generally fix it. Also, that soundtrack just ended on a really awkward song. We didn't even get into, like... Is that the full soundtrack? That, that can't be it. There's no way that's the full soundtrack. That was like 22 songs. There's no way that was the full soundtrack. If that is, I'm going to be very sad. Oh, I got Centurion ability. It's really only 22? Oh, that's sad. Etrian Mystery Dungeon had like doubled the number. This is supposed to be like their penultimate soundtrack. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed, chat. That soundtrack was terrible. Uh, where's the, uh... I'm gonna- I'm gonna take a listen to the other song again, the Hoist the Sword. I wanna keep- I wanna hear the two different versions compared to the thing we heard earlier. I wanna- I wanna cleanse, a palate cleanse. We're going to fix our Synchro very gradually. You like, hear how crisp the drums are? I wasn't getting that at all, listening to the other song. It's kind of disappointing. I still don't need Evade Material. Sorry, Evade Material. I still don't like this part of 3's song, but I like everything else. It's definitely much stronger in Mystery. Yeah, like this one's good, but then we're gonna listen to the other version. I'm out of badge space, that's so sad. The Nidra away. Oh, I can hold one more item. I guess I don't technically need my Yashminikov in this, so I'll put it away. I'm also not gonna lie, the payoff here, definitely weaker than Mystery Dungeon. I'll host again. So I think Mass Cats was asking to join, so we'll give a couple of runs there. Oh, everybody, everybody dive in and take giving Murphy a spot. There we go. So, okay, so that's that version. So we're gonna, okay, then we're gonna listen to the other version. I don't even think it's a contest at all. This one wins completely. <laughs> Ert says Murphy could also take my spot, damn. So if you wanna join us, Mask Cats, we're in block two. You're welcome to rejoin if you'd like remote. Otherwise we have a free slot. Yeah, for me it's for me it's no contest. This is my favorite version. No worries, we'll wait a couple minutes. Like even this part coming up is much better. Here it comes. Like this the horns bring this section up so much compared to the other version. We'll wait a little bit. So we have another Centurion to free up a Heavenly Arms. Because I have a couple characters that only need like 1 to 3 ATA. Would appreciate the luck bonus. 
capping. Oh yeah, this is Hoist the Sword and Pride in the Heart, Etrian Mystery Dungeon. Thanks for joining in, Marco. <laughs> See, I'm glad Imperator likes it. Here it comes. This part too, much better. Favorite part of the song. Here it comes. This is Massive Attack E under the Massive Attack series, minus X. Yeah, no, no contest. Honestly, all the remixes in Etrian Mystery Dungeon, I almost always like more than the original. They really, really hit it out of the park on the soundtrack. And I find it crazy that a spin-off game has like almost triple the soundtrack of an official game. Especially one that's meant to be their last game. That's... That, I think, is really disappointing. Like, Etrian Untold was, like, 50-something songs. Untold 2 was 50-something songs. Crazy. Do we have just a general Yuzo Kosa Hero soundtrack? It's probably going to take us into Streets of Rage. To no one's surprise, it just immediately... Hold on, hold on, hold on. They have a Yuzo Kosi Hero soundtrack, and it doesn't have Streets of Rage 1. You guys are actually tripping. Hold on. How do, you, how do you have two and three, but you don't put one? That's actually hateful. <laughs> where's, where's the full list? Alright, we'll listen to it. Alright, we're good to go. It's like, why have the sequels if you're not going to put the original? The original has some of the most iconic songs. Two arguably competes with it. Yeah, Streets of Rage is so good. Damn. Streets of Rage, one soundtrack, 10 out of 10. Every song, good. So we'll need some buffs masked cats. There we go. Perfect. Otherwise, just believe in the Gafoe. There you go. And that'll stun this. It'll stop the Zeus from hitting us. So even though it feels like Gafoe is not helping as much, trust me. Just keep spamming. Never stop spamming. Because <laughs> the more you can do damage on these waves, oh, it's gonna be so good. Heard some tracks from one and two. Oh, we're gonna listen to the whole thing. The fact that they the fact that they put three in there and didn't put one. Listen, I don't think three is a good soundtrack. I'm gonna call them out for that. I was originally gonna say that was my least favorite Yuzo Kozu Hero game soundtrack, but that Nexus soundtrack was that was hitting like zero, like almost zero songs on the whole soundtrack. Three, I understood they were going for experimental. I just I really didn't like it. So sad. Oh, chat, we're selecting our character. Nice level up. Oh, yeah, I played the fan game on stream a couple times, minus X. We might go back to it at some point. We were doing a really dumb Rue Infinite. I feel like every game Rue is in, Rue has an infinite. It's so sad. Like, every time. It, it just happens every time. It happened in 4. It happened in technically 3. It happened in the remake. Like, damn, every time. The infinite is real. The downside is it does, like, almost no damage in 4. But it's funny. You'll lose all time attack related things. Yeah, there were elements of Streets of 4 that I liked, and then other parts of it. I just didn't like the stages. 
into the bosses. Like, there were a couple of them where I'm like, it was very weapon heavy in, like, not a fun kind of way. It was, like, a lot of grenades and stuff. I don't know. I, I just don't view that as, like, Streets of Rage to me. And I'm, I have mixed feelings about the armor on the characters. Some of the bosses I thought were fun. Some of them were just like, okay, this is stupid. Definitely fighting in the street. This one's a classic. This really is. Like when I think Streets of Rage, this is the first song I think of usually. Yeah, like, they try to modernize it, but I didn't have as much fun with it over, like, the Streets of Rage 2. The only reason I don't like to play Streets of Rage 1 is trying to do the no continue challenge. I could beat the game, but I can't beat it without continues. I usually use one because I get so little practice on the final boss that he just kind of kills you instantly for not knowing how he works. Like, the Shiva twins are really annoying, but I can generally deal with them without dying. Th those characters also kind of ruin the Streets of Rage 1. They're, they're pretty horrible. Yeah, I actually generally like the Streets of the fan game. Like, I had fun playing every character, except for the Streets of Rage 3 characters. Because I, I never liked Streets of Rage 3. Yeah, here we go. level ups. Yeah, I was like, come on. You, you can't put Streets of Rage 3 on a list. And it, that's like excluding 1 and 2 if you put 3 on the list. As I said before, 3 is like definitely the weakest of the soundtracks. I do like 4's soundtrack though, overall. I like some of the returning ones. And I even like the... Uh, Additional artists like T Lopes. I guess the name of the composer. I didn't think about that for a second. <laughs> it's like someone not Yuzo Kosu Hero related. Brain was processing. T Lopez. I was close. Can't do what I meant though, at least. Hail the glorious Gafoe stun locks. There we go. Ooh, big damage. He did do. I, he's very good. He's done a lot of uh, nice songs for Sonic. I would fully agree. Get out of here, Billy Buddhas. Operation Protect the Force. Okay, everybody, come to me. We're gonna hold off on the Gafoe, so just don't cast it. Uh-oh. Might be in trouble here, we'll see. Uh, unfortunate. That's okay. Now you can spam it, that's fine. I wanted the Dorfons to get a little closer. I should have said something earlier, that's on me. Get out of here, Dorfon. Yeah, it's, so as long as we're at least all on one side, they have like a common direction. We usually hold off on Gafoli only on that wave. No, no worries, Madcats. It's not your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I should have told you earlier. You, uh, because it takes forever for Gafoli to go away, both positive and negatively. No, don't worry about it. Uh, but the reason we pause it for people that are watching is because if you let them get close and we have a cast on the team, they could just like instant paralyze the whole room. But fortunately, you could go right back to Gafoli spamming because uh, pretty much every wave. Except for, like, one in this room is Gafoe. And if you Gafoe in it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like, I would rather you occasionally stun lock with Gafoe than do anything else, to be honest. There we go. Big fire damage. Well, it looks like we're gonna go to the boss music. Oh, it's actually doing it in song order? I was listening to Streets of Rage 1 albums where they were doing like the intro of the game like six songs in. That was driving me wild. I remember complaining about that on stream. 
we go, chat. Attack the Barbarian. Yeah, this one's is a little hard. My only suggestion to you is after you see the Mercer room, if you come a little over to where I'm standing, it'll stop the rat beast from spooking. Otherwise, you're doing pretty good. It's a little, little future reference. I'll try to remind next time. I I forget myself, so don't so don't feel bad about that at all. I I forget sometimes. All right, now we're good to go. So now you can do whatever spell you want. We're just gonna blast it full screen. Get rid of these guys. Goodbye, Gertabulu. Alright, so we're going to need you to Rafarda. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to walk into the room as the force. Tap a little to the left like you're walking in a straight line. You just kind of do a little divot like that. And then just keep holding forward. They should all die bomb you. Spam Rafarda. So that's all I need. Yep. So this is like one of the few times we'll need something other than Gafoe. You have to do a little goofy walk into the room. Remember the little divot. There you go. You're good to go. The other players should now take positions to hit the other ones. I'm going to Frozen Shooter the corner here. Did he just teleport while frozen? What a cheater. I saw the ice trying to form around him and he's like, nope. Anyway, back to Gafoe spam. You can just spam it all day long. If you're willing to risk it a little, you could stay in the middle for more damage. But it's a little risky with low health characters. But otherwise, yeah, we don't need anything else other than Gufoe. Anything that'll slow these people down will be huge. I don't know what button I just hit on my controller. Oh, I hit three. Okay, I was like, what happened? We'll ignore the Ryuker. I'm gonna put it over here. There we go. Out of the way. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We're coming up to... I think it's Goron Detonator. So when it's the Goron Detonator wave, you can speed, keep doing Gafoe. Just spam Rizan. That'll be like... That'll be your cue, and then when you'll switch over. Or, yeah. So, okay. You could you could Rizan to unlock them. Rebardo also technically works if they're close, but it, it's easier just to Rizan. Yeah, there you go. Keep it simple. Nice and easy. I want these Raffies to wake up. I'm gonna walk out of the way. Nice. Oh, we beat the stage, chat. Alright, so there's gonna be triple Goron Detonators. This is probably the other room we we're talking about where Gafoe doesn't do as much right away. There's gonna be some zoos, so feel free to resound if you just want to do damage. And then after that, you can start your Gafoe stacks. Since the zoos here don't matter as much. There's gonna be stuff in the middle of the room that is slowed slightly, so be ready to switch over to Rivarda here. Yeah, there you go. Nice and simple. And as soon as as soon as it gets close, just go back to Gafoe spam. There we go. We'll clean it up. Nice. We got some good stacks. Let me switch over to Charge Arm here to try to do some damage. Revive Katsy. Yeah, these enemies are very unforgiving for low HP. It'll get easier with time, at least. There we go. Let's clean it up here with some laser shots. Then after this, when you see the double Goron Detonator Gertabulu wave, just spam Razon. Yeah, you can Razon spam if you want here. Healing. Kill you. Oh, the one near me is the one with the health. Oop, my bad. I was like, oh, he's got 100 health left. Oh, this normal. I was like, oh. Wrong Goron detonator it was showing me. Faded. 
Uh, so we'll, we'll let the cast go in first. They're gonna have a happy little time. Actually, is there a cast here? There's no cast. Okay, well, we're gonna go in and have a happy little time. I'm gonna go bait him, I guess, with my face. I'm gonna do this to see if I can hit the triple Grand Detonator with this. Let's learn. Does this work? Kind of. Kind of. It makes them face me, which is what I want. I want the group to have a free shot. There we go. We're inventing strategies with outcasts. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> processing, processing. Too many PP lasers. Protect the Gora, uh, the force from the Goron detonators. Of all things, the Rappy got me. Rappy too strong, Jeff, please nerf. Hmm. I guess if I'm over here, I actually hit a lot of them with the lasers. Interesting. I always not- I'm always not 100% sure where to stand for this wave. Like, as a forest, it's kind of whatever. Kind of sucks this, to be there. Maybe I can get the zoo here with the laser. Not quite. Kind of. Kind of. Kill you. Yeah, okay, this works the way I think it will. Slightly out of range. I was wondering what happened. Right, let's uh, fix our synchro a little bit here. That way we do more damage in the future. Apparently not many stars drop. Okay. Wow, that XP per second hits 370. Wait, wait, that's actually better than TTF. I <laughs> haven't beat the boss yet. Holy. This XP is stupid, chat. So just spread a little bit apart, you should be good. It is indeed Moon Beach. Oh, another rare. No Galatine for me, only Centurion ability chat. Okay, so if you're not, if you're moving in the cutscene, just spam heal to help other players. Trust me, they'll appreciate it a lot. Keep them alive. Almost popped the yellow. Yeah, unfortunately, it's on green, Techium. We're, well, I'm just getting trolled. <laughs> I'm just actually getting 100% trolled today. No Dorf on Eclair, only Conjuryu. We've seen two Conjuryu before a single Dorf on Eclair. I know, big F. <laughs> it's making me want to play yellow ID, I'm not gonna lie. If we get Conjuryu again, I'm switching to yellow ID. Just want you to know. I will switch to it in absolute disgust if we get triple conjure you before we see a single dwarf on a glare or heaven striker. <laughs> like, please don't give me conjure you again. It's not bad, but it's like, there's only so many centurion abilities one needs. Oh, uh, Catsy, don't, don't come in here. You're gonna die. Catsy, run, Catsy, run. That laser will instantly kill you. heal so I don't die to laser. Yeah, that laser does like 8, 9, 8 or something. I'm not gonna shoot it here because one of us is getting hit. I'm gonna I'm gonna play real safe. Now I'm gonna go try to kill it. So I'm just gonna commit. Spinners! Spinners! No! Spinners! Actually getting trolled. Did you see my gun turn to hit the spinner instead of the boss? Hate the spinners, chat actually dumb. Like, I'm straight up looking at my target and the game's like, ah, whatever. Uh, you should be good. Just just be careful here, because it's got a laser. Yeah, we're good. Nice and simple. So let's see what the XP was. So before coming to the boss, it was 370, which I think is actually competitive with a fast TTF clear. So, this should be a lot of XP. That already indeed see what that XP per second is. 
It should be a level up for Catsy, guaranteed. Another Centurion. Didn't level. 400 XP. So that is officially better than TTF. <laughs> Unless you're only doing Dragon Resets. Well. I guess I'm re-equipping some uh, Centurions over Heavenly later. Six levels. This quest is crazy. So we'll do at least one more. And then we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can conjure you again for no reason. I would like my Galatine chances game. I'm just saying. I don't feel like I'm being that picky when I ask for it. Not even asking for the Galatine, just a chance at the Galatine. I get denied at the option select of the boss. So sad. I don't think I need more Centurions. He's kind of set up to just not die to anything. We should be good. Yeah, this, this character leveling actually matters because, uh... I actually don't have max ATA with V502 equip. Unless I'm using this specific mag, because it's not built for the character. So it would be nice to uh, get that fixed. I think he's off by three. Yeah, he was off by three. So with this mag, he's able to hit it at least. Twenty nine decks too high. Like how the image of this is Streets of Rage, perfect soundtrack. That's what it has as the image. Quite something. Also, why are these mixes like five minutes long? Hold on, I'm gonna skip ahead. We we don't need a five minute version of a three minute song. A bit intense. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Damn, chat. Every song. Every song is good. That's the best part about this quest. You gain so much experience, it literally just gets easier and easier. Get like 30, 40 MST every pass as a force of this quest. You get more health, so you're more likely to survive crits. Oh, I will say for this one, the wait to Gafoe for after this wave. Small, small change. If, if you're playing by yourself, it doesn't matter because you want the Rappies to run. But during events, I want to make sure I don't spook the Rappies. I yell at myself all the time on stream. Chat can testify. I do that, and I'm like, damn. I play this quest like a hundred times, I still do it. Brain off. What <laughs> I brain off when I'm in this room when I shouldn't. Like damn, I should have just waited. There we go. And after that, it's just kind of feeling it out. But I think you did mostly fine all the way through. You put the fire where it needed to be, which is the most important part. That was just actually unlucky demon procs. Bonk. Bobbing my head to the music. I love the soundtrack. It's definitely better to power shot here than laser. Especially since it can crit. And technically, I can bulk in to be faster, but it's fine. We're easing our ways back into playing Ranger. Let's all gather over here. Uh, should kind of work. I think the 
kill. I was gonna say, if I remember correctly, we should be going on the ship level. I'm like, bah, 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 bah. yeah. Super cheap twins. I think this game has really helped warp how I play games in general. Learning how to exploit the Shiva Twins is like kind of, I guess, the first for foray into like AI manipulation. Because these characters are really awful to play as if you don't understand how they work. Like they're characters that just seem to out-prioritize, they always get out of throws, they hard punish you if you go too close to them and they throw you. But learning that there's like certain setups you could do, you could bait their jump attacks. So good. Yeah, unfortunately, good luck surviving this as a force. This wave you can resound if you want, but then you have to go back to Kafoe Merge anyway. Kind of a kind of a mixed bag whether you even stop casting. I usually do like one or two Razans and then a Gafoe. Just to try to speed up the Babuda. The Babuda waves are garbage. <laughs> no nobody enjoys fighting them unless they're Ranger. Ouch. I was too close to the side, that was my fault. I should go to the right, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them die to Gafoe. I mostly just want the photon draw. Oh, they just actually got cleaved into nothingness. just getting fried. Nice, nice. There we go. Nice use of heal like that. Alright, we're all gonna we're all gonna flee. Just remember, just hold off on the Gafo wing. <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna count one, two, three, Gafoe. There we go. Look how much closer they are now. Much easier for paralysis. Oh, one one escaped the paralysis. So sad. Oh well. We're close enough. They should just die to fire. Now it doesn't matter. One, once they're summoned, you can grant if there's one of them. Or if you have really good raw techniques, you could refoe them. Just try, but not a cast. Not your fault. It's unfortunate. Blame, blame PSO RNG. It giveth and it taketh away. Like, it taketh away all the Dorfon Eclairs. Where's Dorfon Eclair chat? Is that uh, 57 Dorfon so far today? Zero Dorfon Eclairs. I think so. Right? We did Berserk Baton and we did three of these quests, I think. Or just two. Maybe it's just two. You lose track of time sometimes. Yeah, because I think that leaves it at 48 Dwarf on scene just today. No uh, Dwarf on Eclair. The hunt continues.
I love just the way the songs are. You could kind of guess what environments they are. The music just just so good. Like even if you haven't played Streets of Rage, like what what kind of things you hear in the song? Like you're hearing a lot of like pipes, kind of mechanicals. So like it just naturally leads you off. Oh, I forgot to mention about the rappy position. My bad. Kind of leads you to uh, realizing, you know, th this is the factory theme. It makes sense. It checks out. go first for the Rivarda versus the zoo I hope you're doing well Tekium wasn't gonna hit me because it, it was jumping in such a weird way. They got me. I suddenly lizards. These guys. I was looking for. Nice. Getting closer. I was sad. I leveled as Ramar and I somehow didn't get ATA on a level up before. That actually just feels like. That feels wrong. Taking an elevator right ride right now, Rib. We're coming up to one of my favorite themes. I still die randomly on the elevator. That's another level I just need practice on, if I want the note continue. Like, sometimes I do really well, and I keep the health bar the whole way through, and then other times, I get bodied by ninjas and drop kicked off the side. Like, you win today, ninja. I didn't do well enough. I like the inherent risk-reward of being on, like, the upper part of the elevator, trying to kick people off for the insta-kill. Or possibly just getting thrown or something and dying instantly. Wow, these enemies are just legit getting stunlocked to death. That's what I want to see. be the face tank for the team.
here it is. Final level. I think my saddest no continue failure was when I was one life short of doing it, but I died due to timing out on the Shiva twins. And that caused me to have one less life for the final boss. That made me so sad. I was like, did I really die to time out? Shiva twins can waste so much time if you don't get them good. It's like, damn, I actually ran out of the 99. I'm like, listen, it's not my fault you made him so tanky and annoying. I usually played Blaze all the way to the end, but I was starting to get a hang at Adam. But sometimes I just wanted more damage to deal with Shiva Twins. Th that's where, mostly what it came from. Like, most of the characters have a dumb infinite. Adam can drop his more often than some of the other characters. Because when he does that launching kick, it's exactly what you don't want to see. And Blaze has like the freest infinites. She she legit infinites everything. But she's very slow, so I end up losing time unless I'm like really optimal with my infinite. And end up timing out on the this level. Okay. Balance is restored in the world. We've seen a Saint Million. Nice and clean. Technically, I can let remote do damage on the boss. If you're feeling comfortable with your laser strikes, you do technically do like 20 more damage a hit, I think, compared to me. Mind waiting in the middle. Okay. Come to me, Katsy. You can picture this room as like a big clock. So if you look at the if you look at it and you see kind of like the center is where the the, the dial or the spinner would be. If you stay at about the five o'clock position, so somewhere around here. The boss is going to spawn. I can either be to the left of the boss or to the right of the boss. So I'm going to stay like vaguely here. Oop, time to run. Yeah, I would not fight them. They're just annoying. So if they gave XP, I would kill them. We'll stay a little bit further apart. Just waiting on them to clear. I could kill a couple of these so they don't haunt you. Okay. That's annoying. That boss should be arriving soon. So get ready for it. Why are the spinners attacking us during this? Get out of here. Here it comes. Uh, for this phase, use a little bit of ice. I did My shot got eaten. That's so sad. Should have died there. Goodbye. There we go. <laughs> this is the boss fight I lose all my lives on. This is a boss I still don't have good practice with. It's most of his shots do three quarters of your health or more, so it's really punishing. So, you know, make five mistakes, that's basically five lives. And then sometimes I get the infinite, and then I get hit by his minions, and it makes me so sad. I'm like, no, I had him. Get trolled. No Galatine. 424 experience a second. I don't know, chat. That XP is really hard to contend with. We'll do one more on green ID, and then we'll switch to yellow, I think. Give a fair chance at Galatines and Heavenlies.
So technically I got a lot of tradable PDs, because I got a lot of Centurions, but... Probably not gonna give them up for a while. I'm only gonna get rid of, like, most of them once I'm done with the Hue casts. And then if I level the other characters, I'll get them out. Oh no, we became the bad guy. Never tell it's the ban ending. You can hop in remote. I, I don't think people are gonna join in. It's sadly one of those things. It's nice of you to offer, but in practice. Ooh, is it is it actually human ranger? Yeah, look at that. The call out chat. Called it point for point. I didn't even say male. Now, now is the time for the quest to give us something. Most of us are at least human. So Katzi sitting at a respectable 605 HP. Slowly climbing up. Should make solo play significantly easier. Uh, wait on the Gafoe. You can Rafoe these initial Rappies. I just don't want to spook them. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, now if you want to start doing it, you can. We should be good. Prepping a long range uh, slicer and got denied. So we'll do a few more of these. We'll do at least, say, three yellows after this. And then we'll do just a mop up operation three or something. We gotta get Katsy with four levels first, though. Which shouldn't be too hard, we're doing this quest. Does any additional defense and HP super matters. And plus, once they hit 100 plus, they can start using the cloak items. So Katsy has like a congeal cloak, or preferably an ignition cloak. That's just free damage on your best spammables. I'll group up a little bit. Look how it slid in and then got stunned. So sick. It is kind of funny watching the badges teleport in for <laughs> full screen. Like, yep, that's exactly where we killed the dwarf on. Nice, nice, nice. I like that this is part of the music too, the waves. <laughs>
I like the game does have a bad ending if you purposely choose to surrender to the boss. And then you fight him anyway. Because he's just so evil, he doesn't accept it. He's like, oh, you want to be evil? Well, you got to go beat the other levels again. Checkmate, fool. I love in multiplayer, he makes you fight to the death with your players. Oh, I took a dime eight. Yeah, I don't want that. Trim hates only, please. Oh, put that again. I love I could just see the lasers in the distance. I know exactly where the team is. If I'm ever feeling lost, I just look at the sky. Nice photon crystal. Goodbye, S star. Congratulations. Yeah, basically every level up is about another damage for Fireball. So just everything just keeps scaling more and more. Too close. I gotta back up slightly. Well, you didn't instantly die to Astark, so that's a good sign. Means that defense and base HP increases better. The miracle of like 10 levels of stats. Wait, when is this play in the game? Wait, I actually. Wait, when does this play? I don't remember this song in the game at all. I mean, it's interesting. I I was expecting the name entry theme. Hmm. I've been the laser. Looking to see if anybody put comments in here. Comments are turned off. That doesn't help. I don't even see references to when this plays. Interesting. Oh well. Yeah, unless it's like a bonus for doing certain endings or something crazy. This is the name entry. Curran with 45 hit, nice. Survive without D band. There we go. Good pull over for the Rappies. Thank you. Heal in time. Okay. Back to the spams. Nice level up again. Only about 100 health from not dying to Dwarf on the surface. Every level matters. 
poor Gertabulu. Just actually getting nuked by lasers. Fix my mag while I'm here. I don't want to go first. Ooh, so what happened there is somebody. So if you're gonna enter the doorway, you gotta commit, or else that happens. You gotta hard commit. You you can't partial step in. The game will punish you for that. I just don't want to go in because I have, like, literally the worst Rebarda. It, it does not make sense for me to start that room. Ouch. I think Atsy could survive the set damage, but not the jab poke of that enemy. Insert some credits. What? There has to be a special version of this game. I don't recognize this song at all. What is this song? Rave dance in the city? What? <laughs> I'm like, wait, we played all the stage themes. Where would this have played? I guess there's like a, another... Maybe the Japanese version has different music on some of the stages? Question mark? I've never heard this song before. There's still two more songs somehow. There may oh, you know what it is. If, if there's a Game Gear version of the song, I wonder if they had specific songs for that version. Because there's no way. Like I, I have played this game enough to know that this song does not play in the Genesis version. There's no way. There's no bonus stages. So I'm like, get out of here. I'm not gonna get gaslit by this playlist. The other one's called Skyscraper Night and then Quiet Insanity. So maybe maybe the super stage was replacement for the factory theme or something, because maybe it's like the final three or four stages were replaced for whatever reason. The only thing I can think of. Well, I guess it's good we put it on this because I don't think I would have heard this song normally. Untargetable, that's so sad. And Pew Pew Laser. Mm. I deserve that. Pew lasers for Patsy. I'm in trouble. Hope the freeze helps. So I think this kind of works as a backup. Yep. There we go. Did this 
answer. Goodbye. Yeah, I would say for the most part, Catsy, I would not run away from the enemy. I would just gel in them. I, I think, like, if you just gel in them and then go back to spell spam, they're not really going to kill you. The only ones that might kill you are Marissa's when you do that. You'll be surprised how strong it is. If you even have, like, a level 20, it should stop you from dying. Because they have, like, 2,500 plus ATP. So you'll end up taking out, literally, like, hundreds of damage from their swing. There we go. Yeah, like, if Corn Detonator hits you, it's gonna hit you for, like, 300, maybe? I, oh, or, he, I think he just hit you then, and it barely did any damage. Or, it, never mind, it hit, uh, Kushina. Disregard. I saw somebody get hit, I thought it was... Dead. Goodbye. Uh... Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Will it be conjure you? Okay. One last chance at Galatine, I guess. On Green ID, anyway. So, you saw it, chat. We did three of these. So, we have officially done 57 Dwarfon checks. No Dwarfon to clear. We also have not seen Pazuzu in that time, but I don't have the Pazuzu count. There we go. How dare you hit me during the cutscene? You know what? I'm gonna walk around in your cutscene. What are you gonna do about it? There you go, I shifted myself. <laughs> I'll wait down in the corner. So yeah, we mostly just have to dodge the spinners. As long as we're roughly in the five o'clock position, we should be good. So we see 26 chances per, so it's 26 times 3, that would be 78, plus uh, you have to account for uh, Berserk Baton, I don't know how many Zeus are in that, I'm assuming at least 40, could be lower. On patrol duty. I'm like, no monster seen here. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like 18 and then maybe 20 or 24 or something like that in the other area. And I hear spinners. Ouch. Ooh, going for the dolphin to try to fix it. I mean, that should work. Oh no. I think Katsy might die here. This does a lot of damage. Yeah. Fortunate. Oh, you had escaped all. Nice. Looks on you, Saint Million. Faux moral color. I like the white with the dress. Nice uh, combo. Got a good look at it. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I make another faux moral, it'd probably be that color. I like that. One of these. Alright, so we're giving up on green ID for now. We'll come back to it maybe for some uh, Heaven Strikers. We're going to give three chances get what we want out of this. 
Oh man. Okay, chat. I'm gonna give you a choice. I can play as one of three things. Raw cast, high level. Force, low level. Humor. Chat, you decide. Who am I picking for yellow ID? No worries, Ramil. Thank you for sticking around. Uh oh, moment of truth. What will chant do? You heard cast. Oh, I can play cast. <laughs> uh oh, we're tied. Who will break? So either way, it sounds like I'm going to bank three. Yeah, I said a uh, raw cast. Humor. There we go. The Humor. Humor is one. Damn, everybody's selecting the Humor. Oh no, Cast, Cast is actually useful. Humor is like the troll pick. I mean, eventually this character will become real, question mark, maybe. But they need a lot of levels. At least he can do decent burst damage. Do at least have charge Vulcan. Also, I forgot he had badges on him. Alright, let's host the game. If there's anybody that wants to hop in, I believe Remote is stepping out for now. I, I don't know why I did that. Silly me. Not that again. I mean, I could do Endless Episode 2. I'd prefer not to, though. I think we went back to the credits for some reason. Oh, it's a super mix for two. That makes sense. Oh, um. Oh. Mass Cats is taking a break. Okay, then we're gonna need a lot of people. So we need some people to play. Let me know if you wanna hop in. Otherwise, I can't play as Humar. Humar cannot solo carry, I'm sorry. Conditional. The gel in 30 away for now. Sure, we'll give Murphy a moment. Let me know if there's anybody out there that wants to do some episode 4. Uh, you can join your partner, we're just doing episode 4. Just the quest you were seeing earlier. There you go, chat. I'm still wearing attribute wall. Oh my gosh, I can actually benefit from one of the centurions I had earlier. Oh, that is that is the greediest of upgrades. Holy. There we go, chat. We're gonna get rid of one of our heavenly arms to dual wield centurions for more stats. The greediest of upgrades. Sure thing. I mean... It gives me luck cap, at least. 1184 ATP is better than Ranger ATP for the most part, so I'm kind of happy with that, I guess. My, oh look, Chad, I'm getting closer to using Holy Ray. I only need like 50 more levels. <laughs> oh, Holy Ray, you're so silly. So we'll give Murphy a moment or so. Yes, Slingshot, your partner is more than welcome to join. It's still Pew Pew Laser at Claw. Remember when I was 100 less levels? Yeah. So we'll wait for... There we go, there's fire. Um, whatever you feel like, Murphy. I don't have a preference. Two rangers is honestly fun. 
Like with PP laser, I mean. I'll, I'll play either way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll come over to the counter. So there you go, chat. I'm dual wielding centurions. Oh no, Blue Dawn is getting food too. Charge Disco. I was gonna say, as long as I have a Disco, we're good to go. I could do Daylight Scars. <laughs> so it's friendship. Oh no. It's true. That you know what that 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 makes sense actually. Actually, dog with Zulora. That's kind of funny. Ah. Okay. It's not quite level 30s, but the damage is still pretty good. So I need to put away that S red. That's messing up my menuing. Yeah, I'm like a little under combo killing, but with pew pew laser, that that makes up the damage. So I guess this character is okay. I mean, he's gonna feel a lot better the closer he gets to 1300. It'll start to justify his existence, but he has to actually reach that level is the problem. I am so surprised that didn't kill me. Nice paralysis by Dorfon. So keep in mind, Dorfon Eclair can still drop something useful, so the odds of seeing it are pretty much 0%. <laughs> right, chat? Just, it's, it's actually zero. Like, it's in theory 1 in 500 by 1 in one half chance uh, with all the area bonuses of course then factored in but if we're seeing Dorf on a player tonight tried ooh you moved to A1 and A2 damn truth am I out of space? what am I wielding then I'm out of space oh I have the other materials that makes sense Like the remix of Streets of Rage 2 character select. Classic. Yeah, he doesn't have a good gear assault, right? Yeah, just 20 dark. You know what? Get giant. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I wanna not be dwarf on splat food. We're all over here. Perfect. <laughs> I'll protect you with my awful Gafoe. <laughs> there we go. I, I guarantee you it is going nowhere. It's like I have Twin Blaze. Is that the secret power of Humor? It's like you always have Twin Blaze. Oh, th this is one of my favorite songs from too. Go straight. And it plays so early in the soundtrack too. Did, did you see that? Oh, there, yeah. There we go, chat. Mmm. Level's looking good. Mmm. <laughs> I love those glitches. Never fix that. Affinia, even if you know how to fix it, please never fix that. Yeah, don't look back. Only go straight. That awkward moment where I missed my attack. On the plus side, at least I could bully Astarks. Almost. I think with shift to 30, we'll get there. That's fine. That'll be for another run and another day. 
I need to remember, I'm not Ranger, so I actually have to normal first. Oh, we leveled. Did I get accuracy? Hell yeah. Maybe I am a Ranger. <laughs> right, chat? I did it. Serious damage. Like how the Outstar just like politely waited. <laughs> He's just like, no, no, go ahead, go ahead, Humar, you can shoot again. I'm like, oh, okay. Zeus. I unfortunately was trying to pick up an item. I should have been paying attention. I deserve that. at 15% native. That's actually not bad. Son of the lizards. Getting hard bullied. Leaving me alone. Yeah, it's like I can't deal with the group of monsters and Astark, unfortunately. Need help with that. He's enemies, though. May they perish. <laughs> Just please leave me alone, Zoo. Please stop bullying me. I keep forgetting because we don't have a force to actually attack. Gotta get back in the, the no force mindset. And now I can punish you. There we go, that's what I want. Let's make sure to end our turn in the bottom right. So we're gonna kill this guy. And that hit. Hit a disc out. Kill the Astar. Nice, nice. I guess wrong. I'm trying to remember where specifically it spawned. I was not correct. Actually got mag blast. Disgusting. Okay, so everybody group up. Bowie, I believe in you. Uh oh. Oh, I'm just keep getting lasered. It's unfortunate. Almost killed one of them. Or two. There we go. Some items. I'll probably take a primate. That movement. Perfect. Got a primate back.
Yeah, this quest is pretty good XP. So I'll try my best to stun lock one of the Goron Detonators after this wave. Get ready for a Goron Detonator about where I'm standing and then one on the opposite end of the wall. There we go, good stun lock, that's what I want to see. There we go, I do just enough to get the kill. Focused one zoo. That's so sad. Oh well. I put a little happy Gafoey out. I can't hit the zoo, so I might as well do this. Look at me, I'm a force. Cared about the other zoo. Thank you well. There we go. Bonk bonk. Ooh, does he really do that low? Oh, I guess because it has no native. I'm not using special. Just surprised it isn't doing like 400 plus. Then again, I'm not at like max ATP, and I don't, and I'm not a huge cast. Leave me alone, random Marissa. I do not want you. Ooh, thank you for this allure. That allows a combo kill. Even the game, it's even the game music celebrated. New threshold unlocked. Killing Marissa. Swordsman Lord, nice. Look at that getting rewarded on yellow ID. Nice. I actually need to love my Hudu roll. What? I could try my really whack uh, Rabarda, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. My whack Rabarda. <laughs> I believe in you, team. Do your damage. There we go. I should have debuffed first. Oh no, I didn't do that. Ah, uh, Isolore still stands. Dollar Star Reparta, yeah, it's, it's something. I'm gonna kill the two if I can. Close. There we go. Bonk. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like if I use the lore, it does enough to combo kill. There we go, Chan. I, I have justifiable use for me debuffing. Needs a combo kills. That zoo, though. On the plus side, because I have so low health, I definitely will always have max plus for this boss. Look at his allure. Look at his allure. Yeah, now we're doing like 300 damage. That's much better.
Oh, I almost killed the zoo. So close. He's like a single shot. There we go. Got there eventually. Okay, so for the upcoming room, I'm gonna need assistance, uh, not on the Yaois, but we'll need, uh, potentially the cast to go to the far end. Oh, we're actually killing too quickly. Might not happen. Yeah, so set up for the opposite end of the room. Just start running towards it and try to freeze trap. Oh, too late. That's fun. Yeah, sorry, the room was started really early. That could be a little raw. There's one other room I think we'll need the cast to set up something. That'll be in the, uh, next room. Otherwise, you could use your traps, however. Kill these zoos. There we go. Vulcans, please. Alright, so if I charge Vulcan, one laser shot covers the difference. That's not too bad. So I think in like as I hit max level, I don't need that. Would be nice. Let that to look forward to, I guess. Hmm. I am going to disc of them if I can. Ooh, that's gonna help significantly with clear speed. I'm rewarding you with disca. There we go. Protect our rangers. Mostly just want that zoo dad to be real with you. There we go. Everything everything else seems like a, a ranger problem. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll chip him out a little, I guess. The music is decent, but man, I really don't like the stage this plays in. PTSD from the stage chat. I'm just like, ugh. Alright, so for the cast, I want the cast to go in first. About midway in the room, confuse trap, and then go all the way to the end, basically to the red door. Just do like a, a bullet run for it. So we're gonna wait for you to do it. And just in case. type it out. Okay, so let's go assist. So now that they're at the other end, hopefully they'll be able to, be able to freeze trap the Grand Detonators here. They're gonna be near the red door. Hopefully they could get one or two. Okay, that works, that works. That is a good shutdown. Thank you. Makes the room go so much faster. And then if you hover around in the middle, it's gonna be like Goron Detonators and Marissa, so if anything spawns in the middle that is not just these lizards, you could freeze trap them. We don't have many waves left. Speaking of which. Nice. Oh, I got a level up. I was about to say, did I get ATA as well? Not quite. There we go. Cool, yeah, we do a lot of damage to the Mercers, so we'll try to be the cleanup for the Rangers. My ATP is actually decent for this. Got you. Oh, I forgot Dream. Yeah, never mind. Dreamer, Dreamer might be my favorite song on uh, Streets of Rage 2. I take it back. Ghost Trade is memorable. I think I like this one more. I'm gonna kill the zoo. Recognize your strength as a hunter. It will not be fighting that crowd of people. Oh, I only have an 85% accuracy versus, uh... Oh, uh, this character needs red ring. <laughs> See, Chad, if I had 20 more accuracy, that would have landed every shot. Red ring matters. Anyway, this is the last wave you could freeze trap, so just go wild. It's just gonna be Gerdabulu at the end.
Ah, ya vi. Making some decent progress. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm gonna stay in the middle, definitely. I'm I'm gonna be the the one left behind. I do have mag blast, so I'm gonna twins whoever dolphins. I'll try to pay attention to the sound effect cue. Although I do put PSL very low. Alright, so if it's the first boss, it's Galatine. If it's the other boss, it's Daylight Scar. It's kind of win-win for us, honestly. Okay, it's another Galatine chance. But I'm glad somebody got Swordsman lore on stream. We'll put that on the extended checklist. So we think we got almost every unit on stream at this point. V801 was found, V501, V101, Swordsman lore. I guess we haven't gotten Limiter, technically, I guess. Wow, the boss moving the spinner out of range. I will thank somebody in a moment. Mr. Roger, just subscribe. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I as a hunter have nothing to contribute to this fight. I'll speed this part up a little bit. But that's about it. So I guess Fire and I will hang around the 5 o'clock position of the room. Since I think they're 18 health shy of surviving the boss. So we're just going to have a happy little dance off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be listening for the Q or Mag Blast. If somebody Mag Blasts, I'm going to twin. My, my finger is hovering it. I knocked over. Oh, spinners, please. <sighs> There we go. I believe in you. Enhanced damage. Yeah, make sure to donate, by the way. Even if you don't have Mag Blast, it does add a lot of damage. Although I think that whiffed. Ooh. But yeah, that was not lined up well. That's super unfortunate. Big oof. It only did 6k to one of the cores. Oh, not another Mag Blast. No. I don't have anything to donate. Yeah, damn, that other one was not centered properly. I, I'm gonna do my best to injure it, I guess. But I, I'm not a character that can hit it evenly. So because it because it did get popped down to lowest, it went to this position. Super unfortunate. Ooh, rip fire. I'm gonna revive fire in a little bit. Oh, never mind. Revive themselves. I mean, at least I'm hitting the points, I guess. I'm keeping it kind of even. I'm gonna say, the Hubar is doing his best. <laughs> I, I did like 3,000, or not 2,000, oh, not 3,000. 2,000, I mean. I think I did okay there. For using Diska, I'll take that. Okay. At least stop knocking me down. Alright, so now it's gonna go in the 5 o'clock position that we're at earlier. I'm gonna try to use the camera to guess where I am. I think I moved in the right position. Yeah, I did. Let's see the other side of the body. That sucks. That almost killed me. There we go. Nice. I think Murphy's moving during the cutscene. There we go. Jiggle hair from Murphy. Murphy's the true winner. Jiggle hair activate. Look at it wiggle. Is it saying hello? Oh, no Galatine. Unfortunate. A lot of XP though. Hmm, is there something I can do differently with this character? I think. Probably optimize it a little more. Check my equipment. I'll make another game. We'll do at least two more. 
That way chat can say they leveled it. Ooh, calling out the I don't even know what this song is called. Let me check. It's probably under logic. It is under logic. I don't know the songs of the Streets of Rage 2 as much. Murphy's gonna sit out for one. No problems, Murphy. Hmm. No, we're playing multiplayer, so I don't need this. We need somebody else to step in for a little bit. It is a 55 hit disc guy. I was thinking I was hitting with it more than expected. That's kind of neat. He eats so much MST. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is with double Centurion. Like, my character's hilariously not even close to wearing it. So sad. I don't think I have anything too crazy in here. I got Blue Adoshi if I really want it. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Yeah, it just comes with practice. Yeah, he mostly just needs like literally like three levels and he'll survive it. Yeah, he just needed a couple levels. Yeah, I think he did fine. I mean, he got tagged, unfortunately, by Laser, but, like, he, he would literally survive it at, like, 898. He's, he's so close to not getting one shot. Remote battery is finished, chicken. Sure thing, remote battery. The remote battery minus X. Preferably one more player. The humor is finally getting some levels. They're almost at a point where I would consider using them. Like, they're above Ranger in damage, but they don't have, like, the tools. I guess in theory I could try to Dark Flow if I really just wanted to be a madman. But I would kind of want to wait for Red Ring for that. I could bring it as a joke, I guess. Where's it on? Just, just don't ever get hit, it'll be fine. Could wield an Excalibur. Actually, I don't think I would mind a Yun Chang in this area. It has hit percentage, right? This is Jaya is just okay, right? Yeah, it's not even that far off. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually do that, unironically. Because I don't really use Jaya, or not Jaya, I don't really use uh, Yun Chang on. Uh, you cast because I just die everything. But maybe this would make sense. Because it's a lot of base damage. And it's not that far off in accuracy, so let me think. With this, it's 279. If I look at this, 276. So yeah, it is more accuracy too. The three extra accuracy, more base damage. It's kind of win win, I think, for this battle. Instead of doing barely 300, I should be doing like 350 or 380. And I can also sacrifice for big damage. Okay. We have remote, so minus X if you want to hop in. We'll need potentially one more player. I mean, I brought Girasol with me, so in theory... <laughs> in theory, I could use Dark Flow. It's a 60 hit Dark Flow. If there's anybody else that would like to hop in, please let me know in the Twitch chat. Uh, we're doing yellow ID boss runs. So, Galatine slash Daylight Scar, technically off chance of Cannon Rouge, Swordsman Lore. Those are the major ones.
technically Gear Soul if Pazuzu shows up. Yeah, we don't have much time left, so we'll, we'll probably need to move forward. I'll give chat like 10 more seconds to say something, otherwise we're moving on. I'm gonna assume chat is not joining. Okay. See, so, yeah, I wanna see how this goes. Dark Flow in theory will help me one shot the Zeus. Mid RT, Sister Frosty. Yeah, we might do RT later. We'll see. Ooh, I like the aesthetics of Yun Chang with black armor on Humar. Alright, let's see its accuracy. Oh, perfect. He can actually land this. Hmm. Oh, you put me a Dark Flow Hell? You fool! <laughs> right, chat, you fool! You've unlocked my, my true powers. And I'm invincible? Hell yeah. Near him. Oh, I can't one-shot the Zeus. Um, look at me, I have projectiles. Oh, I... Wait, is it immune to that? Is it immune to Dark Flow? That's so sad. I had one job. Probably gonna die now. That's fine. Listen, we can snipe a Dark Flow. It'll be fun. Yeah, they're actually immune. That is so sad. <laughs> Humar almost had an easy out. So sad. Oh, I'm dead. As soon as I realize I'm not on the right menu for healing, I'm like, yeah. Rip me. It's okay. We have a chance to get it again. And this is why we run Nidra, to be honest. Yeah, the Yunchang definitely speeds up the run a little bit. Cause I'm instead of just doing like 300, I'm doing like 888. That's a pretty significant improvement. I just have to beware of Babuda. Slightly too much health. That start scares me. <laughs> just like hit and run, hit and run. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I can see where it'd be useful. I don't know if I can hit the, the zoos with one Dark Flow. We'll see, I guess. It's spawn like here-ish, right? But no. I mean, it kind of works. I would have to relearn all of my positioning for this quest, but in theory I could do it. Could be an interesting challenge. Like, I definitely see, like, the ability to one-shot the zoos is huge. That saves some time. So I could try to purposely lower my HP, where, you know, just get casually lasered. Oops, I got healed. <laughs> like, quick math, will I die? Yeah, so the only thing I really am scared about is Astark? Gorfon? Maybe Babuda? So I don't have the natural ability to freeze, but if something does get frozen, I will delete it. Um... Look, I'm a sniper. <laughs> oh. I guess the satellite lizard hitbox is pretty slim. Just bonk him with dark flow. That'll teach him.
Oh. You know what? I dodged that swing, and that's all that matters. I'm dead. I'm just gonna heal. There's no way I'm not getting bought by random uh, fireballs. Speaking of which, see, I knew. I knew. I knew I wouldn't know how to deal with that. <laughs> I believed in my inability to deal with that. Oh, he almost put me at the right health. I'm gonna try again. So close. I'm gonna heal for the Dwarfon, and oh. I didn't realize they were gonna kill that quickly. That was partially my fault. We'll take that, I guess. See, so yeah, it does seem like a very interesting challenge to bring Dark Float here. Maybe, maybe we'll experiment with it later. It's definitely way easier with more cast in, in full party, but it's nice that there's like some very obvious uses of Dark Flow, having not ever brought it into here, or really even seen people use it here to my knowledge. So it kind of works on what I think it does. So keep in mind, like I'm only barely not one-shotting Astark, so another 100 ATP, it probably would. And also keep in mind, it doesn't match like the element of the thing I'm attacking either. If I had some crazy A beast dark combo, dark flow, in theories it would work. Nice level up. Oh, yeah, that damage is so much better than it was earlier. That's just like an easy run upgrade for me. I mostly just have to survive this wave, and then I can one shot the other thing. Not what I meant to equip, that's fine. Take advantage of this. There we go. Thank you, Dark Flow. Hmm. Why'd I do that? I thought I pressed normal. As soon as I did, as soon as I, as soon as I saw it was special, I knew my life was at its end. I'm so used to playing Ramar, where I get just literally special all day. All right, let's hide over here. Wasn't sure which one was alive. <laughs> I got lucky there. Goodbye, Striker Plus. What a bad item. You know what Striker Plus should have done? It should have guaranteed Pew Pew Laser regardless of the hour. And be another means of doing it without the mag. Truth. Oh, we're starting this wave already. Hmm. Well, money has materialized on the floor. Ooh, invincibility. Don't mind if I do. I'm a ghost. I thought we were coming into. Uh, Yancheng time. Check the laser user. A little closer. 
we're just gonna immediately not bother with Dark Blue here. Ouch. Yeah, this is where it gets chaotic. I can shoot them down a little bit at least. There we go. Leave me alone, Gertabulu. Even beyond the grave, he pulls me in. Got bronze badge from Gertabulu. That's just rude. Take your head, chat. Gross. Guess I'll go for the sunlock. Wait for the team, though. A wiggle. Spell. That's fine. We could do this. There we go. It worked in the end. Look at me go. I'm debuffing them. I really don't want to die to that. Oh, I can't land the special attacks on them. Interesting. wanted the Versa to not hit me. That's fine. At least I got the zoo killed. I'm getting a little targeted here. Be alone. Emar's got enough problems. I don't want it to be Marissa A. Eh? There we go. Two. Not bad. More badges. I'll pick them up later. Yeah, so it's doing 303. It's a small improvement. But more importantly, on the surface, I can land the sacrifices, which does speed up the run a bit. Good ending attained. You know, I'm getting hit by all Zoos and the Gurdabulu. Really? That that felt hateful from the game chat. <laughs> just state that was that was just actually upsetting. Every single one of them hit me. I'm glad I was heal spamming. It was kind of insane. Bad enemy. Just <laughs> like getting pulled by Gurdabulu, dodging peck attacks and fireballs. Ridiculous. Straight up slap me. Mm. 
Jeez. Yeah, this quest is pretty good at doling out techniques. If you just play it long enough, you'll probably get every level 30 uh, support ability. Underground techniques are insane. trying to time for a three hit combo but I'm getting hit repeatedly. Please leave me alone. <laughs> just I'm just getting hit by everything. Somebody please laser. Or did the beat end? Oh the beat ended. That sucks. That makes sense now. Alright, heal spam time. Unfortunate. We're almost at the end at least. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I was like, why am I getting hit by everything? And I'm like, oh, that makes, that, that, that makes sense. Disregard previous question. Yeah, it wore out mid-run, unfortunately, hopefully. If... Do I not have any soul atomizers? Seriously, did I use them all? That sucks. Guess this should be one. Escape doll. Hope you're doing well, Hellclean. We might switch over to Hellclean bronze after this. We'll see. I might do one more of these, but probably not during all the. We have yet to find Dorf on a clear. It's very sad. We did get a uh, Swordsman lore from Murphy, which is nice. Oh, let's go straight again. Different version of it. I'm immediately debuffing. There we go. Ooh, that didn't kill. Fortunate. I was gonna say, you would have been proud, Hellcleave. I actually used Dark Flow in this quest. Deleted a zoo. Although I'm a little scared of her buffs timing out here. more strong. He's almost at 1200 ATP. He's getting there. He's going into the there's a reason to use him level. It only took double century and V101 to get him here. Just, before he was just literally worse, but at least his charge Vulcan damage is good. That's so okay. We'll try to get hard carry through it. Um... I want to just get their teleports are insane right now. Please stop teleporting. I I can't deal with them when they're like this. This is too hard for Hunter. I'm sorry. I need them. Okay, now it's simple. That's fine. Them teleporting constantly. It's like, what am I gonna do? How am I ever gonna hit them with like Dunchang or Vulcan? It's not possible. I'm feeling kind of targeted by them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna need to debuff here. Almost killed that zoo. Ouch. Oh, they're not close enough together.
here um Feel a little targeted again <laughs> just get, get away from me Gurdy Bulu. all right let's see oh gold badge from that that's a shame rip swordsman lore yeah that's 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 kind of salt in the wounds there on Gurdy Bulu. So I have something to buff the team. We saw that our mag blast does do a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to fix my synchro a bit. A little better. All right. Let's see. So daylight scarf, conjure you, L skeleton. See what it is. Ah, right, galatine. Well, I can tell we have officially hit Streets of Rage 3. Oh. Immediately got hit there. That sucks. That also sucks. Ooh, you hit the yellow one. It's gonna be real close. If we can even do it, I'm gonna Zalore. No. Yeah, just lacking damage. Damn, no spinners of it. Oh, there's a spin spinner of interest. Going in. Team should have it there. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen how weird it sounds. It doesn't sound like any of the other suits are rage. I believe this song is called Beat Ambience. Yes, it's called Beat Ambience. Did they not play Max Man from 2 or did I miss it? I don't know what Max Man is. Are you referring to his special theme in 4? I don't know what that song is called. I don't think he has a theme. In the older games. Oh, it's Shiva's theme. Uh, I might have played earlier. I don't recall. I so rarely fight Shiva. I, I honestly don't remember. Oh, it's getting desynced. Hopefully, team can mag blast this. Let's see what happens. Keep in mind, I do have twins. Ooh, they popped it uneven. Really, really unfortunate. Looks like team is probably too far to one side. Also, if you don't have a 100% chance to hit, do not use your heavy attacks. Maybe that's also the reason. Um, Is this recoverable? Might be. We weaken this one up a little. I put them pretty close. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave it up to the team on that one. I put it really close. After that, it's not on me. Team just needs to hit it evenly. Ouch. What is happening? Why is the team not hitting it? I'm, I'm, I'm on the floor. I can't do anything. Rip remote. Where is remote in here? I'm on the official soundtrack from the person who did the songs. Where is remote? Oh, they're like way up there. I'm just gonna go revive them. If I can. Oh! Sorry, Remote. I don't think you're getting XP. 
so sorry. I killed the boss. I mean, I can look up the song. Is this up before? Don't. I don't think that played. Looking through the list. No, I don't see it in the list actually. That's kind of funny. Because there are. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. We'll, we'll let this all play. I mean, it's, it, it's their official list. I don't know why they wouldn't have it. Shrug your head on that one. Head and shoulders go, mm hmm. I'll put my dark glow back. It's weird because it's playing from their from their account, but it's not on their playlist. So, oops. <laughs> right, chat? Oops. Yeah, I think they forgot. And since you can't put comments, rip. I think I got an okay amount of levels. Hey, I hit 1200 ATP. That's a new milestone. <laughs> Highest the humor has ever gotten. Spoiler, it's every level's a milestone at this point. There we go. I guess if Hellcleave wants to host, I don't mind doing some uh, CCA. Love that it pauses when I change the tab. It's so funny. I'm assuming Hell Cleave wants to play. Get rid of these. Don't need this. Oh, Hell Cleave's doing the box rounds. I guess. Uh, we'll be doing CCA. Yellow CCA has uh, LNK Combat 38, Twin Blaze, other BS. I don't remember. Those are the only ones I make it do. Yeah, true. I guess I can make the game. I'm sure it has Ubers that I forget offhand. Let's double check. That's not in the quest. Sure thing. Oh, technically V501. Oh, Gibble's Lava Scan it. Uh, level 20 buffs is probably good enough, honestly. I did say to Hellcleave we're going to try to help him get an LNK at some point. <laughs> Although how much the humor helps is kind of a question mark, but whatever. We're going to do humor things. Guess there's no downside to me bringing back out the flow. See, this is a character I wish I had something like Galwind on to just speed up my health loss a bit. Oh well. Okay. 
So game is up for people that want to join. Yeah, we're just bringing in raw morals. Or if he has brought in a cast. And I'll go, blah! <laughs> Whatever health lead wants to run into it. Leave a moment to resituate. Yeah, I do find myself enjoying quite a lot of the yellow ID runs. Kind of start to finish, I'd actually play them anywhere. So they're quickly becoming my favorite ID overall. Solid RT, I like Endless Episode 1, Episode 4 Boss Rush is good. I'm not gonna call it like the best, but it's probably still top 5. Like I'm obviously gonna place it a little lower than like Heaven Striker, Green and Red ID resets, maybe arguably Purple Pod. But otherwise as a boss run, I like it a lot. Yeah, Streets of Rage 3 was also the only game where I've never actually gotten the normal ending of this game. Something about the combat that did not click with me. I think the problem with it is that uh, it relies off a gimmick of some of the older... Not older, well, t we'll say newer. The newer Sega Genesis controllers. So there were like really annoying moves that were locked away by like inputs and use of the six button layout. And Sega Genesis is typically not six button. So it also felt very different than the other Suits of Rage, and it required just a lot of inputs to do like really basic things. Not to mention, I feel like combos overall were nerfed without them. And so you either had to potentially sacrifice health to do them without the input, or um, literally just input spam over and over, which does get really tiring for a beat em up to be doing. Quarter circles over and 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 over. This is not like a normal fighting game where it's just like every now and then you'll you'll throw it in or maybe start some combos with it. It's like no, you you are literally spamming it the whole time. So it's like trying to do like 600 something in a run. I'm like I I don't want to do that many. Sorry, like three or four per room, potentially multiple times on bosses didn't like how that game felt. I also didn't really get used to the dash mechanic at any point while playing that game. Because it also changed how movement works. So nothing about it really felt like Streets of Rage to me. They kind of brought some elements of that back in uh, Streets of Rage 4. Which is why I find it funny because I still end up enjoying the Streets of Rage 2 characters way more than 3 in that game as well. Even though they arguably have more tools to deal with uh mechanics of four. Yeah, Lava's Cannon comes from the, uh, da -da -da Gibbles. Miracle also drops something, and Mary Carol also drops, uh, Ellen Tech. The other one being Twin Blaze from Miracle. There's sadly only two Miracles in the whole run. There's not going to be a lot of chances at Twin Blaze. Build that one. Indeed. Uh, I'm going to focus the, the Mary Carol in the corner of the room. I don't know if I'd call it a stack run. It's it's decent. It's If it didn't have LNK, I'd probably not do this run, to be honest. I, a stacked run is pink ID. 
<laughs> that that is a stacked run. This one, it's it's okay. I put it in like maybe top ten, maybe. But in terms of CCA, no. I even think White ID's got some pretty sick drops just due to uh, just go Brain Man nonsense. I'd still put that one above, I think. Also, oops, I never restocked my fluids. I'll go pick them up later. Uh, no, it's. Oh, Cleave is looking for a very specific item. We can't get that on Pink ID. Also, we really need buffs. Yeah, we would be doing Phantasmal World 2, just bonkers. That quest is like actually busted start to finish. Yeah, like put it this way, like it has Box Drop Giant, it's got Excalibur, it is Disco Brave Man, it has ridiculous amplifiers. Just like what a what a ridiculous run start to finish. Of course the ever elusive Excalibur is there as well. Yeah, I'd probably rate this a little under CCC runs. I do like this quest for, uh, what's it called? V502 Miracle Runs. If you just do this quest with green ID, not a bad quest. It's a little hard to solo some of the formations. So it's like one that's like not great for solo play. You could clear at least the first few rooms without it, but eventually you're going to get to the triangle formation lilies, aka the, the things that I hate the most, and I think honestly ruin episode 2 is fun for me. But until you get to that triangular form, you can do whatever. I just don't know what you're supposed to do as a single player character most of the time. Also, we need to get rebuffed, please. Yeah, you have to be careful, because they can debuff us. Oh, I got wrecked. Damn, that fire damage too high. Yeah, so Gaigui's without high-level Shifta can just undo Shifta, which is a little annoying. I'm about to get hit by the plant, of all things. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I'm being bullied by the plant. Get away from me. Normally it just runs for me. I think it sees humor and it goes fresh meat. <laughs> like, I just don't understand. It's the most aggressive I've ever seen it. Like, it actually just straight up was bullying me. Normally they flee in terror. Apparently that one had enough. Yeah, my Vulcan damage is not bad here. There we go. Yeah, I, w I would say if this if this quest allowed us to do Galgriffin, then I would call it a stacked run. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't get access to the yellow ID Galatine here. But if we could, ooh, if it was just this quest but Griffin at the end, this would be like the yellow ID dream. Then I would absolutely call it stacked. Out of here. I'm so dead, aren't I? You know what? I somehow didn't die. I'll take it. Joke's on you, Ice Lord. Take that, Sido Spiegel. I almost combo killed. Oh, it shifted. Rip. Miracle just got straight up bullied. How does 
it's actually a pretty quick run so far. I mean, this is the final wave, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It went fine. A level next run. Oh yeah, when yeah when there's no other buffs. Also, this shield is actually trolling me. Can please. I, got, I, couldn't, I couldn't use the teleporter. <laughs> it was like, it's like, would, would you like to try again? Damn. At least I can sell that and make up my diamates. No sense in uh, keeping them around. Also, chat, I'm out of badge space. Gonna be very interesting later. Oh, that shop was actually atrocious. I just looked at it, shake my head, moved on. <laughs> um, I guess I could spend money on that. Yes, found Heaven Punisher, nice. So how many badges are we up to? Ship 99 bronze, 99 silver, 50 gold. Plus there's still 40 something gold in my other bank. So I already have a Photon Sphere's worth of badges without trading in anything. Additionally, we're back up to 28 Photon Drops after putting away 99 in a stack. So well, that is a lot. And keep in mind some of my characters have one each. So it's more realistic that I have 34 or 35 PDs beyond 99, so that is a lot of drop PDs during the event. Here we go. <laughs> Umar is strong enough to survive episode 4 boss laser. Oh, he's getting there. Control? What happened? Lobby. Uh, PSO? Do you wanna... Do you wanna react to my controller? No? Okay, well, we're just gonna quit. Weird. <laughs> right, Chad? My controller didn't lose power. It's still there. Not that again. Okay, let me try doing this. Very weird. Yeah, so I either like flick it on, flick it off. Yeah, I feel like this was not a thing for me prior to this event. I don't remember this ever happening to me. I don't know if chat had this happen prior. I've had it do that, like, when I'm using, like, uh, like, third-party stuff, but I've not had it happen with an official controller before. And that was more the program dying than anything else. I don't know what would cause it to die when it's literally an Xbox controller. Rip controller, though, I guess. Hey, speaking of which, how many, how many forests are we up to? Go look at that real quick. Punish me for not updating Windows. Damn truth. 105,000. Nice. Let's see. The most played quest, obviously, far is at 105,000. And up next is Desert at 53,000. 
Ruins at 25,000 and CCA with 2,400. So there we go. We're bringing it up. After that, it's caves. So I imagine people are doing purple caves. Might do some Psycho 1 hunts later. It won't be on purple, though. I don't believe in purple caves at all. I got my vice chances in, and I'm like, that's okay. We saw vices. That way I could say we saw everywhere. Sadly, I haven't seen Heaven Striker, so we might try to focus on that tomorrow. Also, chat, I'm not going to be available on Sunday. I have a lot going on. I might be available in the evening, but definitely not in the morning. Just a heads up. Like, I I'm gonna, literally not going to get home until probably 8.30. That's not going to be a long stream if I end up coming back. Just keep an eye out on the Discord. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. There's just, like, so many things I gotta do to, uh, on Sunday. I did it most of Saturday to myself, though. Nice. Every time I hear the soundtrack, I just feel confused. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Away from the gibbles, because I learn. I'm not gonna bother with the old gibbons, I'll just shoot them a little bit. unfortunate like talking about streets of rage 4 and stuff like that i feel like i very briefly touched high level play with that game and then it was like they patched out the stuff i was using so i just stopped playing it because there were some definitely very goofy juggles in like the, the pre-dlc days since then i haven't really touched it as much There were also clearly characters that were just way better than others. I don't really feel that changed much. And most of the time where I feel like I'm not sure what to do on a boss, I it, almost like 9 out of 10 times, it's some like nonsense, infinite, exploitable loop. They're like, oh, like, wow, how did they do a no damage run? And then they're just playing Shiva, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> right, chat? I'm just like, oh. It's going to be an infinite. I'm just not even, I'm not even going to bother clicking it. It's going to be an infinite. I'm like, I'm just curious what some of the other characters do in similar scenarios. But sometimes I'll look at the character challenges and sometimes I'll see strats. Like, I like the big bulky guy with the mechanical arm, one of the starting characters in 4. Never quite got his loops all the way down, but I was enjoying him for what he was. And then I'm like, oh, let me see how Blaze plays, because I feel like she's, like, not as fun compared to the other ones, and I'm like, oh, it's some off-the-ground nonsense infinite. That checks out. Which is like, yeah, like, yeah. I just kind of nod my head when it happens. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Rip my buffs. Oh no, no buffs for flowers. This is gonna be interesting. Please buff. Like, don't make me make a buff emote. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> like, I, I will go into customize. <laughs> I'll put the little ship to D-band on there. It'll look like the worst thing ever. There we go. Back to normal. I sadly haven't seen any uh, Twin Blaze. Although, as I said before, there's only two chances of it the whole quest. So, it'll be nice if it happens. I just don't expect it. I think in every triangle formation, there's one miracle. So that's like our only opportunity to get it. Also, that was not a good aiming on my part. Dead streamer. Oh, 
Yeah, I would just eye if if you have the thing where your icons are blinking and you don't have like a timer for yourself, I would definitely watch those. Because it was down for like 20 seconds. What? 15 seconds. But it gives you like a 15 second warning. Ooh, ETA is actually kind of important. Nice. Just think chat, in like 50 levels, I'll be able to unequip it. Buff it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you see yourself, if you also see us doing no damage, that's how you know we got hit by the uh, gel in there. Although, fun fact, if you're playing single player, you can soul atomizer that to get rid of it. I did not think he could reach me from there. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I thought he was punching the player directly in front of him. That fist went, uh, miles. Hey, what's my EDK? 21? Okay, that's probably good enough. Yeah, I was playing earlier with, uh, Chris off stream, and we did this, and I died to the, uh, EDK from the monkeys. I went, what's my EDK? And then I looked, it was 7. I'm like, okay, that, <laughs> that explains it. Unfortunate, but it makes sense. That checks out. Yeah, if I still lower that, I can get a combo kill. It's kind of huge. What? Wait, what was even hitting me there? Maybe he was refoeing, because I got hit by like something that didn't do like 800 damage. That threw me off. Maybe it was refoe or something. Definitely gonna Zalore. You're gonna try mate and walk away. There we go. You know what, if he wants to melee me, I'll count that as a win. I think he cheated. Oh boy. We're in the death loop. Oh, we're so close. If Maricus dies, we should be fine. Hurt me. Uh oh. We may be in trouble. Now that it's just two, we should be fine. Just need to get revived. Yeah, that was weird. It like It both meleeed and then it also death shot, and then it hit healthy even also me. Desync is desync is a powerful thing, chat. Like go rewatch that. That was like kind of shenanigans that happened on my screen. Give it desync. Alright, we're almost through it at least. Damn. That Zalor on me from the Gaigui killed me, actually. Sucks. Please get him off my team. Just, I can't do anything. He's actually just one-shotting me over and over. Holy. I'm running away from Gibbles. I got no buffs. He's just straight bullying me. There we go. Somehow that was faster. I'm gonna draw question marks on the, on the table there. Do at least one more. There we go. Thought of a way to be merciful for the next run. I'll host, but I need to switch characters. If he went up several levels, not gonna be sad about that. I'm gonna put all these away. The odds of me coming back to him are pretty low. I'll leave him with the Yunchang for now. I'm actually really enjoying the 45 hit Jaya, which has more accuracy than Yunchang on QCast, which is all I actually care about, actually. Ah. I got something I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do C Bank 6. Yes.
Oh, apparently internet had a bit of a dip. Rip the, what happened to the connection? Hello? <laughs> Big oof to the connection. Sorry if it's breaking up on chat. Went down to only 3,000 for some reason. Out of a normal 10k. Weird. I mean, it's still technically streaming, but it's probably... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something near me that's breaking it up. Yeah, my connection speed went to like 2,000. Big yikes. Sorry if it's very choppy right now. <laughs> Windows update, not right now. You had your chance twice already. You chose not to do it. Yeah, that's the first time in a while it's dropped frames, and it's pretty consistent. If there's a weather warning near me or something. Hopefully it comes back. Otherwise I will probably stop streaming because I'm sure it's very choppy. Yeah, not much I could do. for now but this might be the last run I'd prefer really to not pause recording to deal with this but if it doesn't improve in like the next couple of minutes I'll probably pause the stream Yeah, I don't really want to stream if it's dropping, like, literally hundreds of frames. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, we'll, we'll do one last one. I'll just type in here, because it's too choppy, unfortunately, I think, for chat. So, I don't know what happened, other than it was very sudden. I... Like, maybe about a minute before Murphy mentioned the thunderstorm, it started. Yeah, I don't think we'll get another, to be honest. I was gonna say Streets of Rage 4 is playing. Seeing like brief moments of life from it, but yeah, it's really struggling right now. I'm not sure what happened. I wonder if one of their servers went down. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I'll just put it in the Twitch chat because they probably can't see it. Yeah, if you want to bring... Okay, let's go for it. Hey, 
maybe some update for me is running? I hope not. I mean, that wouldn't explain my internet connection, though. related I if it was like CPU related I would agree but it's definitely not the recording is gonna come out fine but it is just struggling to get Ethernet right now the sound anyway Yeah, I kind of wanted to play PSO for another hour, but obviously people can't hear me on stream. It's really hard to set up anything. No. No, yeah, my computer is like... My computer is totally fine. It's PSO. Yeah, like, I can see it's physically just not able to upload, so something's wrong with the line. So, like, in theory, I can switch Twitch servers, but all of that requires, uh, stopping the stream. If I'm gonna stop the stream, I'm not restarting the stream, it's just that much. If it's, like, at the beginning, it makes sense, but, you know, we played almost four hours. It's fine, we can do it in moderation. We'll make up for it a bit tomorrow. So eventually the VOD will go up, so that'll be interesting. It'll be like, wow, why is everybody not able to read it? It's like, damn. So unlucky. Oh, that's not on by Gibbles. Be alone, Mr. Gibbles. Do not want to partake in the gibbling. Oh, it's bad. Ooh. Well. Uh. Okay, I think some shenanigans happened there. How did he not get. One, how did he not get stunlocked by me? And then two. Why were his animations all messed up? Both of them should have done a wiggle when I hit them, but neither of them did it. That was very weird. The other Miracle behaved fine, though. Very weird. Yeah, see, they're supposed to do that. Not sure why they didn't. There we go. That's a shame. I do like the Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack. I'll probably back up the soundtrack next time we play so Chuck gets to hear it. I'll do my best to freeze just to improve their accuracy. Batch. Nice. This is a shame. <laughs> I saw the panic running around with Shaw. Oh, get off me, please. I don't have Frozen Shooter, so I'm not gonna bother at this point. I can't contribute more. They're already debuffed. On the team on this one. It's 
slow down Gibbles for the team. There we go. There should be the flowers, I think, after these robots. Ooh, that was a nice double freeze from Rebarda. That was actually clutch. There we go. Now they're behaving as expected. I wonder if it's because, like, a player got too close. That's all I can think of, because I was like, normally they, they go into very repeatable cycles. The other one was, like, stuck in his withdrawn animation. Very weird. And the character's looks music in this game is so good. I almost want to play again, just hearing the character select -like music. Although I'd probably just be playing Streets of Rage 2 characters, or maybe some of the new 4s. Maybe. Oops, I didn't leave the center. That was my bad. Debuff time. How did this old Gibbon dodge me? Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> this is just straight up wailing on me. Help. There we go. Awesome here, able to diva. Keep the gibbles under control. Give us a lore spam, it's not as bad for the team. It could be. Yeah, there's just a certain point where waiting for like five minutes for somebody, you can just do the run. You'll go like a minute or two slower, but it's not worth the wait. Yeah, the Gibbles is just stuck. Or other Gibbles, I don't know what happened there. Oh, the guy, we skipped the animation there. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, wait, three seals. Oh, seals, thank you. It's like, wait a minute. Three seals should make me survive that. 955 is very suspect. I think with 44 fire resist, I survive. I'll take that. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just dropping several thousand frames. So I think I gotta call it quits like seven minutes in it's still doing it what a shame well it is what it is i guess we'll chip them out a little bit here to help the team slow them down with rivarda Yeah, see, we were at 8 minutes or so on the final wave last time, and we're down a person. We're already basically caught up. Like, literally two waves from the end. Not that bad. A lot of it has to do with, like, just making sure the lore is applied. It does really speed up the run, especially if you can't land the hell. And obviously not having to deal with uh, getting deep up by Gagui is huge. Oh well. Did what we could, I guess. That's a shame. We're not even gonna end with like a DTF today. There we go, final wave. Nice, the double free. Yeah, comparably we finished at like 845 with four people and like an okay-ish run. So it's a little slower than our slowest run today, but honestly, it was pretty close. Yeah, GG. So definitely can see like where another ATP would make a big difference here. Oh well, I was hoping to do more runs with this character, but it was not meant to be. What a shame.
play. Because otherwise my connection to PSO is fine. Definitely shame. What can you do? Other than blame Comcast, I guess. Thanks, Monopolies in the US. I love that I have one choice of realistic internet provider. <laughs> you either go basically dial up or Comcast around here. Kinda sucks. Or Verizon, depending on what block I'm in, I guess. But anyway, I guess the runs were going decent-ish, but unfortunately they got cut a little short. So we're gonna say goodbye to YouTube. Yeah, I'm just ending the stream, sadly. So, for now, I mean, I don't think it'll come back. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. I just don't think it's accept- I mean, it's down to like 500 KB instead of 10,000. It's like very noticeably terrible. So, sadly for now, I'm gonna go. So, sorry for the people sticking around waiting for TTF or whatever, but it's not gonna happen tonight. So, we're gonna end it here. Thanks everybody that joined on stream. Uh, we got a lot of levels in. Hopefully Saturday we'll get some levels, and Sunday will be probably maybe a short stream in the evening. But we'll see where it goes. But for now, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.